listening to Misery Loves Company. Company Alive at YouTube.com slash MLC Podcast. We did it. We got him. I thought he was MIA. We got we got Mario Bosco. I mean, this is impossible. You got to you got to dream big. And that's sometimes, right. sometimes your dreams come alive. Oh, that's fantastic. Kevin, thank you for saying that. I'm so amazed to be a part of this company. Misery loves company uh, podcast. What's going on, guys? How we doing? Hold on. All right, so you were in the parade, right? Yes, I was in the parade on Monday. I got to ride on the ISDA. You got to ride on what? Someone's float? Somebody's float. I jumped on somebody else's float. I was supposed to be on the Brooklyn Diocese float and then got two. It was so overloaded that I bounced onto another float. And uh, Getty Images took a really nice picture of me. Now to buy the image is five hundred dollars. Okay, where are you're in a moving vehicle? Yes, I'm in a moving vehicle. I text you that I wasn't at Carrie's house, that I am heading to the New York Food and Festival show um in Manhattan at uh, Pier eighty six. So excited. Why what what do you mean you're excited you're excited to be going to a pier? No, I'm not excited to go to a pier. I'm excited to be going to a food and wine show where there's going to be a lot of uh, Food Network celebrities and um, a mixed array of company. And I'm going as a guest of the Farris Pizza, one of the oldest pizzerias of Brooklyn, known for their classic slices and squares made from fresh products. I love slices and squares. Quite a, quite a pizza. pitch. Yes, they really, and it's all uh, fresh. They don't use up. they don't use uh, stuff sitting around. No, they don't <laughs> use. They use top quality, like mozzarella di buffalo. I right, like use... how you say mozzarella. Mm. Say that mm-hmm. again. That makes that turns me on. Oh, mozzarella, baby. Mozzarella. You sound like mozzarella. Uh, sounds like a guy from Moonstruck. Yes, I I just saw a clip because uh, they were talking about taking oh, away no, the Columbus Day. They were talking about taking away the Columbus Day statue down, and somebody said, "Post." You hit a pothole. Is that the noise? Yeah, I just hit a pothole. Sorry, guys. I didn't drive. My friend's driving. So we hit. Um. So um. What's his I name? I nominate from- this for worst as worst show ever already. <laughs> no. <laughs> so um. We, we're fresh, hearing potholes. That's freshest really ingredients, quick, though. Freshest uh, ingredients. Potholes. Yeah. Sure. I hope you don't get hit by a truck. Yeah. Um, so you're in the backseat. Your friend's driving? Yeah, I'm in the backseat. My friend's driving. Um, Who's your friend? Hold on one second. Um, can I get out? Because I don't want to lose service with the inside that. Yeah, but I have literally only dropping something off, and then I have to go to the fa- like, get yes. back. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Top guys. notch. This, is, this reminds me of the, the, the heyday of Opie and Anthony, where people in a car <laughs> talking to their driver. Well, Go that's, ahead, Mario. Yeah, this is good stuff. Yeah, so the float was great. Columbus Day was fantastic. I was with some amazing people, and I got a lot of photographs, a lot of celebrities. I got a movie coming out I'm excited about called Yeah, do Don, your plugs. Yes, Don Q coming out soon with Armand Asante. Who? What the fuck uh, are you drinking? You're drinking... You're, Oh, you got a boiling boilings. A boilings. Oh, root beer. beer. I thought it was that's a regular that's a good beer. One. I thought you're not old enough to drink. No, I'm just fifty, but I don't drink. Period. I don't like the taste of beer. I don't drink. Period. Either. It's disgusting. My wife's on a period. I won't drink it. Ew. What about what about a little sambuca after the meal? Yeah. What I'm about not- what about some uh, some uh, uh, a rum raisin ice cream? You you dabble. I like rum raisin ice cream. Sambuca. I gotta have, I, I prefer a little limoncello, you know, a little limoncello over uh, ice you're shaking. Oh, limoncello guy. Okay. Yeah, right. beating. You know what is even great? Take a little limoncello, some whipped cream, 
some whipped cream and you just like put it in a shaker with the ice and you just keep beating it and then you pour beat it. it. He said beat. You just keep beating it. Well, you gotta beat it with the ice with the uh, yeah, shaker. Yeah, you use the right hand. Beat it with your right hand. You're nasty. You're nasty. Good to switch oh, up nasty. the speed too. So, next, what are we next talking was, about? Next question. Next question. Middle East, you know. Anyway, Mario, uh, I tell you, you're a ghost to me because I, I said, do you got, so is that why you didn't respond to me? Because uh, you were supposed to be at Carrie uh, Caravis' house. Carrie uh, Caravis, yes, and uh, change and of plans instead, happened. Instead, you're in a car where we can hear the potholes, and uh, how long's the ride in? Well, we're already into the city. We're dropping something off, and then we're going to the pier. You got to make a drop? You got to make a drop, the Italian style. I think you the drop gotta, was... You got to you gotta hit, you gotta drop a, make a drop with your, for your lunch. Ray Romano used to give me rides home. He goes, I got to stop first. What do you have to do? Get milk and you cookies? You got to give somebody some money. You used to have a little bit of a gambling problem. Oh yeah, that's and my I go, kind of I go, guy. I go, I go. What? It was like one in the morning. I go, who, who? I would ask him. He goes, "Don't worry about it." So, but I, I put two and two together. Uh, yes. He used to have a little bit of gambling situation. I think he cleaned himself up, though. He's all clean now, clean, uh, straightforward. What do they say? Anyway, uh, you want to? Uh, so, Mario. Um, I guess that's it. That's the only question I have for you. So. Uh, well, oh, yeah. Ray, send Ray the link, Adam. And I send you an email, a text about sending Danny, uh, Danny P the link. Oh, pull the check, pull the check. Yeah, because he has, cool. he just sent me a thing. He said, "Can I do your show sometime?" You can say you can do it right now. How about, yeah, how's now? I said Mario Bosco is a uh, MIA. I, I didn't know where he was. Oh come on! You knew I was gonna participate. You know. No, the last time you fucked us, remember at the at the, at the nail place, you fucked What's us. Was no, it at the new? He was getting a foot rub. I was getting right? a foot rub. We heard and- the uh, this music in the background, <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. It was for my foot rub. I was so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So yeah. But that was rude. And then and then now you're in a car. Well. I mean, I participated. Uh, so let me ask you, Kevin, when am you gonna when am I gonna open for you again? Uh soon. 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 Oh yeah? I'm gonna I gotta who you been working with? Everybody, everywhere. You know me, I don't stop everywhere. Tony Orlando time. and Dawn. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> how many how you work every night? Every night, every night. I'm working what tonight clubs? tomorrow. What clubs? Tonight I'm in with Carrie Caravis at uh, some benefit. Tomorrow night I'm in Connecticut at an Italian social club of uh, some kind doing. I'm opening for the Angry Sicilian. Who's that? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. That's yeah. Bye better. bye. Mario, get- you're muted, buddy. I like I like Mario. It, does, better it doesn't this stop way. him though. It no, I like stop him better him. this way where you can't hear him. I'm so excited. Oh, Chris Max sent me these at twelve fifty eight. Jesus Christ. Mario, you're muted. Somebody's doing well. Chris Mack, twelve fifty eight. Chris Mack, twelve fifty eight. Chris Mack, twelve fifty eight. Yeah, he sent a bunch. Celebrate Chris Mack, twelve fifty nine. Celebrate their third super on a live stream. Chris Mack, 1259. Chris Mack, one o'clock. How many did you send? Eight? What is that? One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Six. Oh, six? Oh, I only see five. Three at 1258, two at 1259, and one at one and one at one o'clock. Oh, yeah. On the nice. Stream, yeah, see more. One, two. Nice. Ray lost his uh Mario try to go out maybe and come back in. I don't know what's going on with your you're not muted or anything, so I don't know why why your shit's not working. Shit. 
Jeez Louise. Uh, let's. Where is he? He's gonna go out and come back in. I don't know That's what too bad. what happened. All of a sudden, he just went mute, <coughs> and uh, I don't know. Let's go MLC. Yeah, this is Mario Bosco. This guy. I. I mean, I'm literally dealing with children. I don't even know what to say at this point. I mean, these these people are these people. Are, I mean, this guy's mentally ill. Nice, nice. Well, he's gets got it. a he's got a full schedule. It's like he's going from one thing to to the next. No, he's literally like going a, nowhere. He's it's like he's, he's running for in, office or something. He's living in some fan. Yeah, he's he's running. He's running the, the mayor of fucking Moscow, yes. uh, Bos- Mario Bosco town. The mayor of Bensonhurst. Nobody, nobody cares. No, he, he's just he's just this little guy. Stevie Poo talking geo geopolitical strategy. What the fuck it be? And then Ray lost his channel because of it. No, what? Ray, Ray made a joke and they they demonetized him. It Wow. About uh Palestine and Israel? About the conflict? I'm sending the link to Ray, what's up, buddy? What are you driving? Yeah, if, if I um, yeah, if I get to a place where I can jump on. No, I'll we don't want you on. to jump on. What happened? What happened with your thing? Don't. S- what? What? Is my channel. Um, just that one stream got demonetized. I didn't get a strike or anything. Um, it's, it's just got demonetized that one episode. But, but uh, oh, did you try to? Episode. Did you try to do another episode? Yeah, so I just restarted, and then that one, I was able to get uh, super chats and everything. But yeah, you can't really talk about what's going on. Do you think they, that's they, they told you that's what happened? Yeah, they they sent like a timestamp of like uh, what was going on, but I, I think it was like obviously someone uh, obviously said that like, this is adult content. It just said it had to be for people over eighteen, and that you can't get super chats. Wow. Yeah. You're the last guy I thought they would get accused of uh, adult content. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what they got me with. You usually keep okay. it real light, don't you? Keep it uh, bobbleheads and uh, sports. Yeah, that's what I try to do, man. I try to focus on that. You, you fucked know? up, Ray. Just all the important stuff. Bobbleheads and bobbleheads and baseball cards. You that's f- how I roll. Where are you going now? Hershey? Yeah, I'm on my way there. It's you gonna drive all night? No, no, I'll, I'll be there in uh, a few hours. But um, yeah, if I hit a hotel, I'll jump on if you want me to. No, I don't. no, but uh, you the gigs tonight or this week? The tomorrow? No, um, tomorrow it starts. But I want to go to Lancaster. There's a guy that wants to try to start up a comedy night. He wants to talk to me, so I'm gonna meet up with him tonight. Uh, I'm making moves, Kevin. I'm on the move. Wow, you're like Mario Bosco. Yeah, I'm on the move. I can't stay in one place. You're like uh, you got you got uh, ants in your pants. I do have ants in my pants. I'm actually wearing pants right now. Bye. Anyway, Mario Bosco said, "Kevin, thank you so much for having me on." Wow, <laughs> it's quite an appearance. <laughs> I mean, this guy. He first he's gonna be a first he's gonna be at the doctor. Then he's gonna be at Carrie's house. Then I text him. I'm like I'm like what? It, where where are, are you gonna be ready at at uh? I go you I go at three thirty. You good for four p.m. today? He goes I am not. I am, but I'm not at Carrie's. Change of plans, but I could go live from where I'm gonna be. I said, do they have Wi-Fi? Uh, he read that at 421, even though I sent it a long time ago. Kevin, thanks so much for having me on. 
Da 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 da. I should have played him off. I didn't know he was leaving though. Do 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 do. This is my world, everybody. Welcome to it. You're welcome to it. Yeah, he didn't uh, text me back at all either because I was trying to ask him what he was going to use for a device and if he could come on and do a check, uh, make sure the sound was good, and I got nothing. So Stevie Poo, bad. Stevie Poo talking geopolitical strategy, and then and then he was made Ray talk about it yesterday, and Ray's channel got demonetized. It was, you had to be 18. Mature audiences only, like the R R movies used to be. Mature audiences only. Katie Lang, nice booking. Pecker. <laughs> you pecker. I'm afraid to say anything now. I'm going to get my channel demonetized. Mario Bosco, I prefer Stevie Lou. He is awful. Uh, Mario Bosco is, like, officially the worst the worst guest. I mean, he, he, he thinks he's a celebrity. Uh, oh, we got another. Uh, hey, Danny's here. here. All right. He thinks he's a celebrity, and he he's like, I'm going to a food festival, and and nobody cares. What's up? There he is. What's up, fellas? Can you hear us? Right. I can hear you. Can you hear Danny? Me? Where are yeah. you? I'm at the stu- the my studio. The what? My studio. Oh, you have a studio. The voice cast. The voice cast. Right. Someone recognizes the well. black backdrop. Yeah. Yeah. You can see that. Well, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Oh, actually, hold on. I got to plug my computer in. Uh, Katie Lang, uh, nice booking. Thank you, Pecker. Well, hold on a second. Katie Lang, nice booking. Uh, yeah, I thought we'd have a lot of uh, shitting on Mario Bosco uh, super chats, but now look what we got. Mario Bosco prefers hey. Stevie Lou. Oh, there's some lights on. And now we I got, hello, that. brother. Did Artie ever try to eat Mario? That's a good question. What's going on here? Fair. Can you hear us, Danny? Yeah, I can. I can hear oh, you okay, guys. Cool. Sorry, just give me one second. I'm trying to plug my computer in, and we have like it's. We have like a thousand. Oh, here we go. Figure it out. I have like a thousand power bars in here, and I don't know which one that was plugged into which. I'm good now, though. <sighs> hey, one furious F. Hey, Mario. KB's got some nice dresses in the back. Yep, right there. <laughs> Keep walking. Right around the corner, Mario. Keep going. Yeah, right over there, Mario, you fucking hack. How you guys been? I'm talking to a guest that just, uh, uh, I thought wasn't going to be saw, here. I was watching, I was saw, I saw Mario, and then Mario just dipped on you. Just, uh, no, he, he yeah. literally dipped. His car hit a pothole, and then we oh. lost him. <laughs> well, his, his audio definitely dipped. He stayed, but. It happened. It happens. Is that Katie Lang? She looks good. I'm trying to get through all the uh, Mario. Oh, they, they're saying Mario looked like Katie Lang, huh? It's, yeah, uh, it's like pretty there. accurate, actually. Not bad, yeah. Uh, I never knew that Mario was a male until this past week. Fair. Fair, tough, but fair. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ellen DeGeneres, amazing. I love your show. You look great. Another Mario. Send Ray the link. He's driving to a gig too. Oh yeah, they're both going to gigs. All right, Danny. I don't want the only person not. I'm the only person not driving to a gig right now. I know. (laughs) We won't even know what to do with you. You're not not in a car driving to a shitty gig. I I welcome all the hate that I'm going to receive. Uh, I've been watching your show for a bit. Oh no, Uh, today. No, just in general. Just in general. Oh, no. We're going to get demonetized. <laughs> Dude, I just got my Instagram suspended for the second time in like a week. Why? Why? I don't know. I posted what I – well, la- I don't know what it is. They keep saying that I'm promoting like sexual content, but I think it's like I'm posting stuff that's making people mad and then they're just like basically people. flagging me. But then Instagram siding with them and just suspending my account and then I appealed it and – lost and then i appealed it a second time where like you can enter like information and i said i was trans and then they gave it to me back so that works <laughs> and then uh <laughs> do you have to actually go through with it though being trans yeah like tra- uh, you have to transition. i hope nobody from instagram shows up but no they just they kind of took my work but i mean like more importantly if they actually look at my account there's no content there that is like promoting any sexual shit or like you know so Anyway, well, no, they, then, they told things you're guilty until proven innocent. So, so yeah, because, and but there's not, and there's not a good system to kind of like prove your innocence, really, other than saying you're trans in some vague appeal process. So, but anyways, like I, just before here, I was on Instagram, and then it just booted me off and says you've been suspended. 
all right, so, uh, all right, so I, I don't know what you're going to say, but I have a feeling I know what you're going to say. But uh, I, I guess you could say it, right? You can say you can have your opinions. Ray Ray DeVito said he got demonetized because he made a joke about pal- the. I don't even want to say it, but it- well, that's yeah. Well, I got my my main. I have two YouTube channels, one for low value mail, and the other for like my comedy sketches and stuff. And my comedy one got demonetized randomly as well. So for what? It- um so i posted it's a kind of a long story but like i, I do this like call-in show and then i had this guy we were talking about the world you know the world economic forum you know what that is yeah you heard of that anyway so we, i got a defamation notice from them and then uh but i didn't get any strikes or anything and then five days later we were talking about um when the unabomber died and we were just talking about it on a podcast and then they just gave me a strike for it and they demonetized my channel. And then three months later it came back. And then I went and looked a couple days ago and it was just gone again. So they, they work in mysterious yeah, but ways the world economic too. council. That's like a, that's like a government thing or it's a, 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 no, that's like this private group that they're just kind of people, conspiracy minded people think they kind of like control things. And they do. They're like, they, they're founders of links to like the CIA and all this stuff. And, but anyways, I, but that's not the one they do. Uh, yeah, I'm getting. It, that's I like Klaus, they, Sch- Klaus Schwab. Oh, all right. That guy, the, the little like evil dude who like wears. Like, so other, so, but but you and uh, but you and uh, Ryan, you guys don't believe in uh, I mean, you guys believe in conspiracy theories for fun, or you really believe in them, or or what's or what's. Um, happening? I'd say I mostly believe in them for fun. I mean, obviously, some of them turn out to be true, uh, but I'm I'm not like a flat earther or anything like that. But I'll I'll bring a flat earther on my show. You ever, you ever met that guy Dave Weiss? No. He he used to have a podcast with Mike Cannon, um, out of I think. Oh no, you guys were at Comic Strip. No, Stand Up New York. But anyways, he 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 goes by Flat Earth Dave, and he came on my show. Interesting guy. Wow. Yeah. And he, like he, really me, or he, he really believes it, or he really believes it. He really believes it, but also he has this app that has a hundred thousand pings users. So regardless of if he ever got evidence to change his mind, he will not be changing his mind because he's got a pretty strong economic incentive to continue being a flat earther. So, wow, I, I'm I, yeah, yeah. It, it's it, we live in a crazy world. So the guy, <laughs> wait, it's like true social for like people. No, that it's the earth is flat. No, because it's not like really a social media app, although there is – he added like a social element of it. It's just like a flat – it's called like Flat Earth Clock or something. And then there's like a Flat Earth map, like an interactive like Flat Earth map on it. But then like people have been meeting on there because there's like now a social element where people can like meet. So he's like people are getting married off of this thing, like literally meeting on this app and it's it's bizarre. But Jesus. Yeah. Okay, so so go ahead and take my channel down. Ha, go ahead and see no, they're not gonna say. take. It. I do. It, yeah, I feel like any minute it's just down. gonna be color bars. I don't know how, dude, if <laughs> I fucking second. am the person to take your channel down, are you kidding? You can't talk politics here. We're just gonna see. No, this. you can be pro-Israel. Oh yeah, yeah it's oh, just yeah. gonna be that all of a sudden. <laughs> well, you can be you can. pro-Israel. I mean, I am pro-Israel, but you can't make jokes. They still don't like jokes. You got you got to be very careful right now. Um, yeah, but why, why are stuff. jokes so dangerous to people? Well, I think there's one because the people who are like the, the you know the bots or whatever that are kind of um, like keeping you know uh, whatever their platform safe or whatever like the moderators they can't tell the difference between jokes and not jokes. You know they they don't they don't have that capability just so they just grabs a hold of certain words or phrases yeah just sees words like i think maybe the thing that got me banned from instagram the first time last week was that i uh i just i posted a joke that basically because everybody was referring to last friday as israel's 9 11 and then i was like that's what i call the first one and then uh i thought it was a clever joke but <laughs> <laughs> there's no point there's no even point I I was tweeting about uh Nikki Glazer, you know, she's she, it's like there's no point even making jokes that you th- just talk about it, how you like to eat your asshole or something. Yeah, it's seriously. Like- and the crazy thing, you know what pisses me off the most is Instagram pick, kicked me off for this like like, you know, 
promoting sexual stuff. My whole explore page for you page is like girls where you could see like the fucking outline of their asshole and like, yeah, like you know you, like you, and like sheer net like sh- tops were totally see through and you're like they're on there. Yeah, if you go into I the search jokes, if you go into the search bar on your, I'm, I've been it's trying insane. to like, how do I clean that up? It's fucking, dude, I Jesus. Well, Christ. you clean it up. I stopped clicking on that shit for one. Well, no, I stopped a while ago, and yeah, I'm like trying matter. to like search out shit. I cleared my history. It's like, Jesus yeah, Christ. dude, I know literal. I'm not even is it a point of exaggeration. I know literal prostitutes who have uh, Instagram pages that they post all their shit, and they're not kicked off. Below below me, I'm in the scope. All right, so you're so you're you're a practicing Jew or not? Um, I don't know about practicing card carrying. Card carrying, yeah. I mean, here's the thing, in, you know, in my case. But no, are you just Jewish when it's convenient, like when you try oh, to yeah, do a like- stand up act? <laughs> No, because I noticed, I noticed, uh, I mean. Like, I don't go to synagogue or anything, no. But I went to, like, Hebrew school when I was a kid for, like, nine years. But that was a my choice. Nine years. Yeah. No, but it just seems like, I remember that guy, uh, uh, what's the guy who's dating Sarah Silverman? Uh, uh, um, that, uh, Kyle? Kimmel? Jimmy Kimmel? Jimmy Kimmel? Oh, my Kimmel? God. Come on, come on. Kyle uh, Dunnigan. Uh, no, the, the, la- the, the last the- guy. Oh, the last guy? About I don't know. Let me look him uh, up. Uh, the room. dude from uh, Masters of The Sector? Daily Show. He worked on The oh. Daily Show. Oh. Daily Show. Trevor Noah? No, he didn't. Daily, <laughs> the daily Come Show. Come on, Adam. Just go to, just I'm looking, go to I'm Daily Show. Up. He's one of the... I thought, I thought he used to be executive dating, producer um, of The Michael. Daily Show. Rory Albanese? Yeah, Rory. He's dating Rory Albanese. And mm. Rory Albanese all of a sudden started saying... He, you know, I was watching him. He worked used to work at a comedy cellar. All of a sudden, he was like, I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew. Uh, you know, basically, when 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 you had to be something or else you couldn't just be a white dude, you know? Yeah, but Jew didn't count. Like, huh? that was never – Jew did not count. Maybe in No, I'm world. saying during, when Me Too started, when Me Too started, you couldn't be a regular white dude because then you're a predator. So you had yeah. to be some kind of victim. You had yeah, to, there were you no had, Jew predators. No, you had to. No, no, I'm saying, but I'm saying you had to be. You had to. You had to. You had to embrace yeah. your victimization. So, yeah. so all of a sudden he was. He was only half Jewish, and he never talked about. It. All of a sudden he's like, as a Jew, as a Jew, yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know, I was like, where were you? No, I, fun, I, I actively made fun of those people. I would like to be on record, and anybody who follows me know that I openly talk shit about those people who did that. Oh, so but you're a Canadian Jew. Yeah, yeah. I've. I, I'll say this: it's never. Did you ever play hockey? Advantage. Did you play hockey? A little bit. Yeah, we all do. The Leafs big win for the Leafs last night, opening day. Austin we don't Matthews. care. We don't care. Austin Matthews. No, I'm good. saying as I a mean, no, because the Jews don't play hockey here, but they they play hockey in Canada, right? Everybody. Yeah, there's some everybody Jews. has to play. Uh, I believe Adam Fox, the star defenseman for the New York Rangers, is a Jew. Yeah, but he's not from here, is he? I think he is American. Yeah, I think he's an American. I could be wrong. All right. If anybody finds a, a, a NHL player who's American Jew, I'll give I'll give them a thousand dollars. I those they exist. I would um... for real. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so what's your beef? What's your beef? My beef, I guess, with Instagram or no? What's I your mean, beef with me? What's your beef with me? I don't have any beef with you. Is that this what the show is? Yeah, <laughs> it's like early, early Mark Maron. No, you gotta I, no, you make say- amends. No, you say you've been watching it. I thought you were, you. I thought yeah, you. Had... No, no, no. I just it's just like there's just this is drama. High, it's high drama. The show. No, I thought it was from the. Uh, I thought. It oh was no, from... no, no! I got to. No, I love you, Kevin. You just no, I thought it was one of the funniest people on earth. He's familiar with the show. No, I thought it was yeah, the I mean... middle the Middle East uh, situation. You been, I thought you've been watching lately. You're you're outraged by my take on. Uh... Oh no no no! Uh, what's your take, Ben? Just you want everybody to have fun or what? No, I no, I just want to hear from the other side. I want because I don't get any, I don't get the J- Jazeera news or whatever. So I listen. I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not saying I'm going to take their side. I'm just saying yeah. I just want to hear, I want to hear what they're doing because uh, otherwise, I'm like, I, I just get all the information. Like I say, and I get the channels, the Channel Seven News, uh, the ABC News in New York, and and the news guy is Jewish, Lee Goldberg. Uh, Bill yeah. Ritter is the the head the head news guy. He's been there forever. He's Jewish, so it's like they're literally sobbing. He went Lee Goldberg. They cut to him yesterday yeah. for the weather, and he goes, 
does the weather even matter? I was like, snap <laughs> no out way. of it. Really? No. Yeah, oh he God. goes, he goes, it feels like this doesn't even matter. I'm like, I, f- I feel oh. like Pat and like, like snap with the fucking s- snap out of it, soldier. It's like, on, it, first of all, the Middle East. And also, uh, uh, Danny, you can back me up. These yeah. people that, that you live near Gaza or, or went to a music festival near Gaza, it's like, you, you just you listen. Gaza is trouble. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna lose the channel for me saying it, but it's like you can't act like you don't know what you're getting into by living near Gaza or going oh, to a music festival near absolutely. Gaza. Absolutely, it's like living I mean, on. A, it's like living in a mech near. Doug Stanhope lives in, in near the Mexican border. It's like he might get murdered in the middle of, of the night by a drug cartel, and he can't be like. Oh, I didn't know this was happening. He does, and everybody knows what's happening in Gaza. Yeah, yeah. There was definitely false sense of security. Everybody really felt that they were like, yeah, you know, they're kind of locked in there, and there's no way they can get out. And then they did. You know, tomorrow is a global day of jihad. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> I, I told my mom really didn't like it, but I tweeted that I like found like a terrorist costume on like, you know, Amazon or something. And then I'm just like, just to be safe, I'm going to walk around wearing that. <laughs> and then my mom literally like on twitter she dms me she's like that's a bad idea i'm like i'm not actually gonna do that at least you're, just, at my, least ha- you're just, ever... my, just my halloween costume at least you um, talk to your mom <laughs> my mom won't even follows. take my calls your mom doesn't follow you on twitter I, I don't even follow myself on twitter i just i, I don't even i'm not, i'm done with it i it's it's such a hack first of all that fucking hack elon musk he asked he asked uh uh when 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 will this hate end but he literally just reinstated Gavin McGinnis, who started a fucking international hate group. But but he's accidentally. worried. Accidentally, he I know, yeah, accidentally. But still, but but I'm not saying I'm I'm not, I'm not even anti uh, Gavin McGinnis. I'm anti being a fucking phony like Elon Musk and acting like when will hate end? Never is the answer. And and you're running fucking uh, Twitter. I won't call it X. You're running Twitter which is basically a hate platform. I don't know what Instagram is because I'm not there anymore. I'm off Facebook and Instagram. But Twitter is a fucking, is a hate platform. Just people yeah. go on there to hate on each other. And and yeah. I get, I just get I mean, exhausted I don't think that. I don't think censoring that would make less hate. Uh, you know, there's just, there's people, there's... Yeah, I'm there's saying he's a fraud. People, stop, stop pretending like hate is bad for his business or hate's going to go away anytime soon. No, People are no. filled with Twitter's, hate. T- Twitter's the best, though. I love Twitter. It's my favorite. It's uh, really yeah. radical. It's really radicalizing me, though, when I get kicked off Instagram, and the only place I can go is Twitter. It's it's really messing yeah, up my yeah, brain. It, yeah, I'm not, like, not going to lie. To just be st- on the staring at that shit for four hours a day, I'm like, whew. Yeah, it's brutal. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, How you been otherwise? All right, so what's, what the, what's, what's your favorite part of the drama of the show? Uh, my favorite part. Like, what, uh, what really gets you? Like, oh, I can't wait to see I what mean, happens it's so now. Hard to keep up. It's like Bob's on here, Bob's gone. You guys are no. My favorite part is when your face gets the same color as the ticker at the bottom. That's my favorite part. Is when you yell so loud that your face just goes bright red. That's when I'm enjoying it at my most. Hopefully, I don't get your ire at that degree, <laughs> but. <laughs> Yeah, it's like uh, I, listen. I like I don't magenta, even almost. huh. Almost like a magenta. On, it like gets on the so red, man. Holy well, shit. plus yeah, it helps when like I, it helps when I wear a right a white shirt, so I can't oh, wear a white okay. shirt. All that's how I calibrate the color of the the bottom of the ticket <laughs> with, with his yeah. rage. Oh yeah, like you yelling at Ray and oh, oh yeah, you know Ray, right? I know very Ray very well from from just at the stand. Just from yeah, just from comedy and and stuff. Yeah, I like Ray. So you guys, you guys are uh, well. Anyway, let me read some of these. If Mario was in a Bob, if Mario was in the Bob, if Mar, that's a Freudian slip. I said Bob. See what I did? <laughs> if Mario I did, right? was in the Bob, uh, uh, are you gonna watch Bob Levy's uh, uh, cooking show? Are you asking me that? Yeah. No, I didn't even know he had one. Exactly. He's now doing a cooking show. Because it's uh, really he, hard to keep up with what's going on with this show. It's like a fucking soap opera. You miss yeah, it's General days. Hospital. It's like, it's yeah, General it's Hospital. like I don't know what's going on. No, Bob quit because he couldn't take it anymore. He thought I was a meanie bachini, so he quit. Now he went he, and Julie uh, uh, probably told him, Bob, just come over here. We'll put Brennan out of business. 
and uh, and then Bob's over there. They're doing like you know six seven hours a day, and then Bob's Bob's probably not making as much money as he thought he was going to make by by uh, just uh, aligning himself with Shuli. So now he's starting his own network, and it's going to be cooking and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And uh, yeah. Bob's an idiot. Uh, no offense. To, I don't know if you you and him are pals, but Bob's a. I met fucking, him. I've only met him once. Yeah, Bob's dumb. Bob Bob flunked out of high school four times or something like. He's had four marriages. He's just a. He's not. And he he always gets he gets very excited about nothing. I mean, I don't know how many times I told him where he's like, "We're gonna go in there the first time, and we'll sell it out. We'll go into the town the next time. We'll get a. We'll go to bigger room. Like we're not Louis C.K. Bob. You fucking." idiot he counts he keeps he thinks he's so like majestic in his talent that that he just goes to a town he's going to go to erie pennsylvania and then he's going to play a small room next time around people are going to be buzzing and we're going to it's going to be a bigger room it's like bob nobody knows who the fuck you are i've done enough gigs with him nobody knows who we are who he is if mario was in the mob would he be a boss or an enforcer and does he need to ask permission to stay out late yes so all the questions yes yeah, Mario pisses me off because he it's like I mean uh, Danny knows about these these people in show business. They they all think they're in like they all think they're transgenders? No, they all think everybody in show business thinks they're like fucking uh they think they're Liberace or something. Like like everybody thinks they're a fucking star. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Uh, I mean, I've always said that there is some benefit to having like a disconnect in reality in that of regard. Of course. Then, like you need a little bit of it, but then right. you, you got to be a little to... delusional, but, but yeah, you can't, exactly. you can't let it run your life. Yeah. That's well said. Where you're like, this is going to happen. It's like, there's no evidence. Can you ask George if he misses Otto? This is still about uh, Mario, oh, Otto and George. <clears throat> Jesus, Mario, just got, go to, <laughs> I feel like Danny's going to, Danny's going to go. Yeah. I can't sit here and watch you read super chats. No, dude. Uh, I know what the show is. All right, send Chad the link. Uh, Chad wants more money, so How's that uh, How's Chad yeah, been? yeah. Danny well, can ask let's, Chad let's questions. Let's find out. Let me. Uh, I'll send him a link. Because we'll Chad said, "Chad, we, we, you ever watch the show with a the therapist now?" What? We have a show with, with a therapist. He comes on and he he, he analyzes our guest. Who's we had him do. We had him do a full workup on Ray Devito. He we did Ray Devito, and then he what did. What did he uh, say about Ray? He said he should. He said he's. He said he's got problems with his uh, frontal lobe from all his car wrecks, <laughs> and then alcohol is not serving him. He <laughs> says he's reacting badly to alcohol. But everyone's begging Ray to. I mean, he's got gout. His doctor's like, you can't drink. His his uh his uh he gout. He's like in such good shape. He runs every day. The gout's he, like a fat person thing. Yeah, but he 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 he. Uh, I don't know something. He 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 had a. Yeah. Anyway, he had gout and then he, his foot was fucked up, but he kept running and then he had like a broken foot and then he was using duct tape to fix it. I mean, it was just going Good on Lord and on and on. Way. So then we had it, the therapist and, and the therapist was actually, you know, trying to help Ray. And uh, Ray was like, no, thank you. Uh, Jesus, Mara, just go get a happy ending. The Internet qual Internet quality will be better. Rolando Ramirez. Yeah, I, I think I'm done with this uh, fucking Mario. Brother, why did Eric Andre pick blocks over MLC? What? Do you watch Neil's uh, show interviewing uh, comics? Uh, no. I mean, I know it exists, but no, I don't. Brother, why did Eric Andre... Neil's getting, Neil had Dan Soder on last week. He's getting the biggest of the big. And you're getting me. No, I'm joking. Dan Soder's a, literally a nothing. <laughs> Eric Andre's pretty big, though. Yeah, but he used to be. Now he's just got nothing. He's on a huge TV show. Yeah, he's like the eighth guy on the show. That's true. He's like the eighth or ninth lead. I've never even watched it, but I can just say whenever they show a promo, he's not in it. Yeah, but that's because they have to put the non-binary chick in there. She gets, it's just basically all her. Well, it sounds like you're anti- uh, I like Dan. (laughs) You're, no, you're anti- No, I'm not talking about that. But I don't watch Neil's show. No, no, I, I'm no. I, well, I'm, you're not under oath anyway. Hey, Anthony. Hey, it's Mario Boxo. You little funny fuck. Dynamite. Way, way was it like working with Otto? Oh, the same one. You guys are going with the yeah, same joke. Yeah, a lot of marionette jokes or a lot of. Uh, I don't care. Anthony Torito. They might. Uh, he's my bodyguard in Atlantic City. 
I we I still never met him. Mario, are you booked throughout December? Going opening for Mall Santa. Furious. Yeah, you could this get one, some I thought this work. the whole show gonna be um, them making Mario Bosco jokes, and then he's like, "I'm in a car," and that's the end of the show. It looks like it still might. Is Brian McCarthy driving? Uh, KB, maybe you don't drink. You don't drink. Period. But do you ride the red tide? Mario, any interaction with Artie? Jersey strong. Jesus, it's gonna be terrible. He's fucking not even here. Yeah, that's fine. You can just send them send them a little recap. Uh you got any uh you got any take on Artie Lang? Do you wish him uh, well? of course I wish I love Artie. I saw a photo with him. Was that you? Who's no David Tell was with him last night? His, his face oh, they were off. with him? He was out? I saw a photo. I think it was Artie's birthday yesterday. Yeah, it was his birthday recently, but he it, oh, it was recently. an old I saw a photo. photo. Oh, maybe it was, it was an old photo. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it might have been an old photo. It was him, oh, okay. him and Russ Maneve and Patel. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, it might be stock photo. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what he looks know. like now. So, uh, Tons Mark Cowboy, if I was him, I'd sneak into every women's locker room. Fair. Yeah. Tough but fair. Mario, mm-hmm. does your bow tie <laughs> spin around and do you carry a whistle at all times? KB, final thoughts. I got to do final thoughts on wow. him carrying yeah, that, a whistle. That came in at 418. They already want a final thought. Oh, uh, Joe, okay, so we're going to wrap it up early. Send Barry Ribs. What's your take on Barry Ribs, Danny? I like Barry. Barry, who don't you like? Sh- we we usually Barry has been on my show, like. The Bathhouse, before. He's a bit of a wild card. You should come on sometime. What? What about The Bathhouse? Uh, I host a show called The Bathhouse. It's a live call-in show. Oh yeah, I've watched, I've seen it. Yeah, come. You should come on sometime. Okay, so you do that, but it's you- live, right? You got to go into the live. city. Live. Yeah, you got to come to the city. It's live. Um, At the stand. And, uh, at the stand from the green room, and it's like a live call-in show. And then it's like old school, like old school radio. Does somebody yeah. screen the calls? Nope. Oh, so it's just. But you can. But in. I let I let any of the comics hang up on anybody at any time for mm. whatever reason. No so reason. So what if they say? Me. What if they drop like n bombs or something? It's on YouTube. Who cares? Oh, you can say the n word on on YouTube. Sure, you can try it. But Ray can't make a joke about Palestinians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so there's no it's, rules. There's no rules that you can read and go, oh, this is a... No, no. It's, it's I mean, I got my, my strike that I got on for talking about the Unabomber, and literally just the day he died, we were just discussing it because he died, me and uh, Richie Redding, and uh, literally they gave me a strike for like glorifying uh, like terrorist organizations or some shit. Like, it's, there's no rhyme or reason any of this stuff. They're like, if you get in their scope, they, they make something up. They're, they don't... It's Right. Right, you're they just go. You, yeah, but you're smart you're, for removing all your episodes right away. That's why I think you're fine because you guys. Just that's that's them where right it away. gets really dicey too. Because when you monetize them, then that's when they really go over it with a fine. Yeah, exactly. Like the fact that you just pull them right away, and I don't know if you like. Do you private them or do you delete them? We don't even talk. We won't even tell yeah, you we, what we, we do. We can't even. Yeah, I can't even talk uh, about it. That's well, I was just. Dele- I'm just saying. I would just delete them. I wouldn't even private them. I <laughs> yeah, I've had them. Because people get strikes for private videos. Like I would literally just like. It never happened. Yeah. It never happened. Once the once the show is done, it never happened. I don't even exactly. know where they go. Yeah, That's Adam how. doesn't even know. We're dealing with the. <laughs> we're dealing with hummus. Yeah. KB, what's up with the lollipop guild? You're going to give Kumi a sponge bath tonight. Get it up. What? How do you feel about Anthony Kumi and his uh, triple bypass? Is that what he had? He had yeah. a triple bypass? I mean, I... Well, he had some bypass. I hope he didn't have a black surgeon. Yeah, we're all wishing. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of parallel thinking there. No, people said uh, people said if they if he needed a heart transplant from a black man, or would he prefer to die? And we all, <laughs> we all know what the answer is. Not clear. Uh, how is Shuli able to dodge the draft? Uh, she is a Shuli. Uh, yeah, you can address this, Danny. So, were you ever? Uh, I mean, Shuli really. was born there. So, do you have to? Do so, you have to, how old is he though? Uh, like probably fifty, between forty yeah, and fifty. That, I think he's. I think he just he's aged out. No, but I'm saying if you're born there, don't you have to go through uh, like training? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and then, he, he he would have had to. Uh, 
I think he would have been obligated. Yeah, to it's do, like, like man- mandatory year. a couple years because I have a couple yeah, of friends that years. grew up over there and they and they yeah you do mandatory. It's like jury duty, but you yeah, gotta, military. Yeah, exactly. But but you weren't you were born where in Canada? Canada, yeah. I I I, I don't have dual citizenship, just loyalty. So wait, uh, so but your your parents are both Jewish. Correct, but they were born in Russia. Oh wow, Jesus! Your dad's probably yeah. a nasty motherfucker, right? Not really. I think he might be a spy, though. I could always see him. He's very <laughs> calm, calm, cool dude. Just silent, quiet guy. But, oh really? Yeah. You ever see him talk into his shoe? Uh no. That's something. But I may have seen him drink for. vodka out of one. Wait, he don't talk to anybody. He don't talk to. No, you? he talks. He talks, but he's like, you know, he's very like stoic, silent. Yeah, but that's that's how the, the Russians are notorious for that. I right? think so. Yeah, they're just like emotionless kind of drones. And so, where do you meet your mom? Uh, in Russia. And then they came in here. St. Petersburg. Yeah, they left in I believe in uh, the seven. They left in 1975 because they're because like Jews weren't super well recept- received in Russia, just like everywhere. But uh, they, but Russia basically just like even here. Up. Yeah, I mean everywhere. It's literally everywhere. It's fucking old. This still, live but, stream. Uh, <laughs> this live stream, just all this stuff. But anyways, they they uh they basically were like Jews. They let Jews leave essentially. Like, oh you know, wow! So my parents, so my parents They're like, like you're right welcome here. to leave. It's like a drunk yeah. guy at a bar. Yeah, you're Honestly, welcome to leave. Like, yeah, you ain't got to go home, but you can't yeah, but you stay can't stay here. They could stay. They could stay there, but they were just like you don't want to, and they didn't want to. So they just <laughs> well, that's insane. Well, that's insane. That's why there's so many Russians in Israel because all, all the Russians were like Jews were just like yeah get it out and they go okay and then a lot of them went to Israel. So so when they left Russia, uh, could they go like when a, when a country basically releases you? Are you can you go to will any country take you in? Oh no 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 they had to like so Canada I think I don't know if they applied for to immigrate to the u.s a lot of their friends went to the u.s a lot of their friends went to uh no they went to like italy they lived in like italy for a year while they were waiting and then canada accepted them so then they moved to like winnipeg wow that's where, that's where they were forced to go essentially was to winnipeg oh so wait winnipeg took them like uh because it's such a bad place then they basically were like, canada took them and then their canada was like you need to go to winnipeg that's where we're and then my parents like spent like eight months in Winnipeg and they're like, fuck this shit. And they left and they went to Toronto area. So they went to, they made them go to Winnipeg because nobody wants to live there. Exactly. Yeah. I think they, they kind of do that. They go like, we, you can come to Canada, but you have to go to like the shitholes. Wow. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, one fear. Adam, we can't hear you, man. Oh, I said, we got a mud shark on the line. I'm reeling him in. Hold on. Oh, gotcha. Oh, furious F. Does he need a hand up there to talk? Oh, we're still doing Mario. All right, yeah, bring Chad in. Chad, you know Chad, right, Uh, Danny? Yeah, of course. Finally, a guest I like on this show. What's up, Chad? How you doing, Danny? I'm well. Just got kicked off Instagram again. Dealing with that. Oh, it's depressing. Hey guys, what's going on? What? It's it's not depressing. Uh, Instagram Instagram is pathetic anyway. You shouldn't even be on there if you're a grown man. Yeah. Do you know any successful comics who are not doing well on Instagram? There's not many. What do you mean? You got to be on Instagram? Yeah, it's like it's the only place that has like an algorithm that actually helps you. Wait, you you put clips up or what? What do you use it for? Yeah, you put clips up, and then it's like if if God willing that you fucking hit the algorithm. You put up a you, clip of yourself owning a heckler, right? Isn't that kind of exa- what you got? Yes, do? you got to own I do somebody. That. I don't do that. That is literally my least favorite development <laughs> of, <laughs> of comedy right now. Yeah. You would probably fucking like implode kevin but i was at a show recently where it was uh the the host went up and they're everybody's filming their sets and they're like you know barely open like this or whatever host is filming his set because he's trying to get a clip and there's like 10 people in the audience he asks every single audience member like questions about themselves and then while he's doing that the first comic is setting up his camera in the back and then he goes on and he asks them all the same fucking questions because he's trying to get his own clip i'm like they already answered what they do and where they're from. Like, you don't have any fucking shame. But about he wants shit. to get in a fight with them? It's, I mean, like, the goal for comedy right now is you go up there and then someone says something racist to you and you're filming it. And then you get, like, you know, that's, like, the goal of comedy right now. And then you get, like, fake outraged? 
essentially, or people just like, I don't know, people don't, I, I think people like the sport element, like a non traditional comedy fan. They like the sport of like comedian versus heckler, I guess, and like crowd work or whatever. But like, I hate it. I don't know. So it's do like they a do, trick. do they it's a do, trick. Is it like, are they entrapping people with yes, material absolutely now? Absolutely, they are. Well, yeah, they, see, they see how successful Matt Reif is, so they're all copying what he's doing. Wait, Matt, he's I mean, be... there's tons of guys like that who are like, you know, and there are some good comics who use it like, like as, but there's some people who are just like, yeah, I just only do crowd work. It's all my clips are just crowd work. It was boring. And I still don't understand. So they try to get the crowd to say something racist and then, then they react with outrage? Yeah, ideally. Or, or they'll say, maybe they'll say something funny, but like that's the, the holy grail is like they, you know, you're some sort of minority or like a woman. Don't you remember that girl who got the beer thrown at her? Oh, yeah. She went on yeah. fucking Jimmy Kimmel a week later mm-hmm. for having a beer thrown at her. What the fuck? What's that have to do with anything? Yeah, but where is she now? She's like headlines clubs and stuff. I doubt it. Well, I don't even remember her name. What's her name? What was her name? It was that Uh, uh, Uncle Vinny. Yeah, of course it was that Uncle Vinny. No, it's it's like she's like she does like I see her on festivals and stuff. Like I assure you, it was a massive net positive for her career. Oh yeah, for yeah, idiot net positive. Whipped a beer at her. I wonder, are people doing like audience plants now? Like, are they Probably. fabricating these situations? Well, that's Steve or... Hofstetter's been doing it for years. Yeah, Hofstetter yeah. does that. Yeah. I mean, Having he did kind of things thrown at him. It. Yeah. All right, Chad. Uh, so, so you'll do the, the therapy show for 8 Hundo? Yeah. I, I, I said that originally, and then Shuli heard about it, and he told me to demand a thousand. Oh, wow. You got the Shulies working for you? Wow, your let Jewish see, overlords telling you to get more money. Let me see if I can. Let me get see. If I can get some more shekels together. <laughs> Is he your agent? Do I got to deal with Shuli or I got to deal with Bob through Shuli and then to you? I'm just telling you what he said. When did he say that? You you didn't you just that was just tweeted today. So Shuli already said you should ask for a thousand. Yeah, he texted me. He's wow. like, if he's going to give that idiot stuttering John three thousand, you deserve a thousand. Okay, that's Shuli math. Okay, Stuttering John gets three, Chad gets one. Okay, thanks, Shuli. Send him the link. Anyway, uh, yeah, Chad, don't worry about it. Don't worry your pretty little head about 800 or 1,000. Whichever you want, we'll, you'll get it. We already got corporate sponsorship. Blue Chew's going to jump in. We got Manscaped. a lot. We got that Manscape. We got that that uh, people, they sell you the food and you make it at home. Uh, man, great. Blue too. Apron. Yeah, Man, great. Casper uh, Mattress. Casper Mattress. Her promo code, uh, Ray Sucks. Yeah, uh, Chipotle is going to give uh, uh, gift cards. Like uh, like uh, uh, that shitty show. What's that? Tuesdays with Maury. Uh, <laughs> Tuesdays with Stories? Yeah. They stole it from two. There used to be a show, uh, Tuesdays with Maury. Hey! Oh, I no, didn't know that, a that, book. Was, that was a book, uh, Max. What's the, or, or, yeah, what is it called? Tuesdays with Morning. Yeah, Tuesdays with Morning. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was, yeah, it was like a movie in a book. Or whatever. Yeah, they made it. It was some guy was dying. I hope it happens to yeah, Mark uh, Jack Lemon. It was a good movie. No, I'm saying it was really based on a real guy, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a sports writer from Detroit. I forget the guy's name, but uh, something album. Yeah, Mitch album. Mitch album. There you go. That's my favorite. Anyway, Chad. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so uh, yeah, I like how Shuli uh, asked to fucking his, stick his fucking foot in this. Chad, did he call you or he texted you? You guys are still sweet on each other. He texted me. Yeah. He's sent me a text. And he said, he said, if he gives a uh, stutter. Uh, so, yeah, he had to make it about stuttering John. You think it's a, you think he's weird that he's a, hey, Danny, you think he's weird that everyone's obsessed with stuttering John? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's in a word. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's, yes. I don't, I don't get it. Like some, like I know, uh, what is it, uh, Carl? Like their whole show is just about. Like I, I did their show, and it was like a, it was like a year or two ago, and they're like, it's all they talk about is stuttering John. I mean, I really don't like them. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> thick. Plus, Carl said when he does live shows, he uh, and what stuttering John's just a teacher now? No, he's not. Now he's not anything, and he just called me, so I don't even know what he is. So, uh, but he lost his channel for a week because he got uh, he got somebody. What do you call it when you get a, a porn? A, he got hate, Rick yeah. hate I porn. Mean, something, yeah. Oh, he accidentally played porn on his. No, channel? someone well, came on as a yeah. fake person 
and uh, and they did they, all of a sudden they were like a, just a still picture of and they him. Did, they did like a screen share of basically like scat porn. Oh, and yeah, racial see, obscenities. See, see, the problem is he's like he's just too old to realize. You're like when if that happens, you're like you end the stream, you delete the thing, and you're just like that's it. You don't just like be like uh you know, you well, he, yeah, there, was, there was a moment he was very confused. He kind of squinted it's not to see what it was. Quick. And it's yeah, not, they're not that fast. He gave it a good, it was a good like three count before he. No, because he was all, it, it was like a Three Stooges episode. Because he was like, yeah. no, he didn't. He, <laughs> was, he <laughs> like, like reacted. Did, he, did he leave the episode up or like. No, but he just really? reacted too slowly uh, to it. So, because yeah, yeah. they said they said he was, he had a blanket over him. So. Yeah. So if you send it, yeah, and he was just, he was uh, sending it out to anybody. So that's what happens when you send it out to everybody, anybody, just don't be covered in a blanket in case someone comes in and starts doing weird shit to you. Speaking of weird shit, Chad, uh, 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 where are you this weekend? All right. So you'll do the thing with the guy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, cause it's going to get intense and you know. So we're so are we gonna say nine hundred? Because Shuli said a thousand, and then you said eight hundred. Yeah, so me right in the middle, maybe nine nine hundo. Maybe no. we'll let Danny uh, be the arbitrator. Danny, what should I pay? Uh, nine hundred seems fair. I All mean, right. eight hundred seems grossly way too much money. But uh, I mean, if you're willing to, I don't want to fuck with Chad's money. But if you're willing to give him eight hundred, what's what another hundred? Yeah, what do yeah you, what I do don't care. I give him a thousand. I don't give a fuck. Like I said, so we give him a thousand. We already got no. I I won't do it because that's what Shuli wants. So I'll give oh. him nine hundred because I'm I'll never I'll never cave to the Shulies of this world. Mm. If you know it's, what I'm saying, it's the it's the Palestinians against the Shulies, if you will. It, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, that's what we call them here, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> but I don't want to get my channel taken down. All right, I think I'm going to drop off the show because this this is getting a little awkward for me. And uh, yeah, we can take it from here if you got. I'm going to I'm going to jump in a car with Mario Bosco. <laughs> <laughs> See what happened when Chad comes on. People are like, "What are you doing?" You know what Chad did? Chad, uh, Chad, uh, I'm getting I'm getting uh, I'm getting. Um, oh yeah, what what about the issue yesterday? Yeah, Chad Chad about when he lied about you going on a USO tour and went to rehab instead. With yeah. with Amy Winehouse, you went with Amy can Winehouse. Can I ask something? Because I haven't. Can I ask something? I hope it's not uh, like maybe uncalled for. But Chad, whatever happened with like you getting attacked? I, I haven't been following the whole thing. What oh. ever? What was that? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure this has been adjudicated a million times on here. But just no. That Danny's good because he's in it. He's in and out. He, he doesn't watch right. every show, so he just watches yeah, the best I, of when people are talking yeah. about. It, he's like, oh, I got to tune in. Well, it, what happened is Anthony Cumia sent two guys to beat me up. And they, they I remember that me. was the story. Is that what that actually is that what actually happened though? No, not at all. It was a lie. Oh, okay. I uh, I got punched in the face at a bar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never never let a crisis go to waste. I think Hillary Clinton said that. Yeah. Yeah, but but what? So are you gonna tell Danny the rest? Like, why did you get punched in the face at a bar? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. What happened? I mean, most people don't get punched in the face at, at a bar anymore. It's just it's like from the seventies, kind of. Unless you're at like a biker bar or something. Most 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 people don't it doesn't go to fisticuffs. No, I, I was talking, uh some guy found out I was a comic and he, he was drunk and he said, Hey, say something funny, say something funny. And I, he was with a woman. I go, How come I I forgot exactly what I said, but I, but I made fun of his woman and that's what did it. Oof. Yeah. So but everyone had fun, everyone talked about it, every show talked about it. Every but show I'm okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, just, getting, just a punch in the face. Including Jim and Sam. And he Jim and Sam were right talking about it. Tamron Hall. Yeah. yeah. The whole daytime. Ellen, everybody. Ellen. Yeah, The View. <laughs> yep. It was all over the place. The Real, right. if that's on. <laughs> yeah. Still. Okay. Uh, nice. $20. Mar- Mario, Adam, Kevin, Mac Daddy of podcasting. You are so behind on these super. What chats. the fuck? I know they got. We got all back. Like that's like an hour ago. I know. So I don't. Uh, don't. You already feel bad. You don't have to. Fuck <laughs> it. I forgot to do this. No, we should go back. I should like go back and. Uh, and I mean, I should go to the end. Somebody said back. you're doing go topics ahead. now. Someone told me you're doing topics. Yep. Yep. We're doing to somebody. Name names. Somebody on Instagram that sent me a message. They're they're like Brennan's doing topics now. Yeah, I did. I did one yesterday. I was talking about the uh, the war. Mm. What should we talk about? What do you want to talk about, Chad? What's on your mind? Topic. What's on your mind, Chad? Hot button. Hot topic. Hot button topics. 
Uh, Tigger, what the heck, KB? Thought this show didn't do politics. First, the Shuli talk yesterday, and now Rachel Maddow. Today, where will it end? Holy shit. We would have made a fortune if Mario stayed on here. It would have been endless fucking good nature ribbing. Who the heck is this crackhead trans guy? What the fuck? Are we finally on Danny? <laughs> I think so. This is that. Yeah, that was from 420. Yeah. I was trying to spell the the N word with my profile pics. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, that when he was leaving all of those At the dollar beginning? ones, he had he was probably trying to change his profile oh, pic. Yeah, but it doesn't it just N. it it just updates to whatever. You can only do kept one. Saying N. Yeah. We got we got the spirit of what you were trying to say. I didn't at all. I would I would have I would I would have pulled a Ray DeVito and I would have got totally duped. All right, good job, Chris Mack. And uh, he was giving us all these Hitler quotes to let. How do you feel about Hitler, Danny? Uh, I'm not a fan. I guess good public speaker. Yeah, yeah. It's, I don't know. Not much to say about him that hasn't already been said. I don't want to kick a man while he's down. Yeah, rest in peace. I wouldn't go that far, but <laughs> Adam, you got to say this. <laughs> uh, happy birthday, Marcella. Sounds Thank like you. a Colombian gal. She does. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, I, I, every gal. every Marcella I've known has been. Danny, Colombian. you got a you got a special friend? No. Uh, do I? I'm I mean, have a like a. I'm engaged. Yeah. You're engaged to a woman. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Everything leading up to that sounded like no, and he's I'm engaged. Yeah. Uh, Eddie F saying George without Otto's hand up his butt is weird. I thought I, I thought he was already gone. Uh, Robert Dunn, they should do a prequel of Goodfellas with Oscar playing Tommy in his younger years back when he was shining shoes. Oscar could play multiple parts. He could be Tommy and also be the shine box. What? Who's Oscar? Who is he talking about? movie goodfellas obviously i know adam what's he talking about Free i'm trying to get up. caught up here i mean play tommy in his younger years back he tells that guy to get a shoe box so when he says get your shine box to joe pesci is that is that tommy i don't know the characters names oh, we're gonna have to come back uh, to that like I'll the SATs. i don't know at least mario lasted longer than last time mario stinks <laughs> he did, he did. how long was he on the show uh this time you know, 10 minutes, probably. Uh, shouts out, Danny. Oh, finally, we're caught up. Shouts out, Danny P, go. for having War Mode on. Uh, I don't know what he's talking about, but uh, we're caught up. War Mode's a LVM. podcast. The last War time I opened my show, low, low, low Value Mail is a show I do on Tuesday. Oh, I opened okay. for Florentine in Fort Myers, uh, like, last year or something, and then Mario Bosco came to ask to do guest sets. And, uh, you know, Jim's like, yeah, go right ahead. And he got Jim got so annoyed because all Mario wanted to do was take photos of us on stage together. He's like, I'm not doing that. I already took one. Good yeah. story. Anyway, uh, 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 sounds like you can never really escape your biology. <laughs> Wait, Danny, how many shows do you do? Too many. I do. Uh, I mean, you do like four Friday, or five do, different Friday, shows, I right? Do the Boys Cast with Ryan Long. I'm sure everybody knows that. I do Tuesday nights. I do a call-in show called Low Value Mail. Wednesday nights, I do a different call-in show called The Bathhouse. The Low Value Mail is not a comedy show. The Bathhouse is. And then I've started watching Zero View live streams. Oh, yeah. I was so, watching that the other day. Yeah, it's dark stuff. Uh, excuse my stupid brother. His bow tie cuts the circulation off to his little puppet head. I thought we were done with Mario. How do you find zero view one is there like um so uh, you so they just changed it but if you go on twitch um and oh, you just okay. like you can search by like it allows you to search most views to lowest to views. least wow so then okay. i have to it used to be where you could do lowest to highest so i didn't have to scroll down now i have to scroll down but like dude there are fucking mental people <laughs> who are doing like like honestly like a live imagine this show right here but for like actually nobody's and there's zero people watching, but they're doing this whole thing. It's called yeah. Ski Mask Collective. Thing. I would it's make just, a, well, I would make <laughs> No, Jake Hudson, ball. Jake Hudson and Joey C watch their fucking programs. I mean, I might on, if, if they're fucking doing one while I'm streaming, they might get caught in the scope for me because they might wind up on the show. 
Uh, thank you, Luigi Bosco. Peter Brennan, brother, is this Danny funnier than our bro Danny? Jesus Christ. This is too inside. Uh, Danny, uh, uh, so you're here legally, right? Correct. And how did that happen? I know, I know Ryan Long. Didn't, uh, he, have to, didn't he have to like uh, know people or something? Or didn't he have to uh, like... How did I do it? I just crossed over the southern border. I flew in uh, Tijuana and then just walked over. <laughs> no, but did, I remember Ryan Long was like, he was trying to get, wasn't Ryan Long trying to get here for a while? Oh, uh, I mean, it, it's a process. Yeah, it didn't, it, it wasn't like I didn't just come over here. Yeah, you got to like fucking apply to the government and get a work visa and all this shit. Yeah. But then you got to, but then you get, you, you got to be a good boy. I mean, you got to stay out of trouble. I can't get arrested. No. And then how about if you get in trouble on, on social media or YouTube or something? Uh, I hope that's not ground. I mean, look at Owen Benjamin and Gavin McGinnis. They got, they basically became persona. They had a basically fucking Owen Benjamin had a move. He was so fucking, uh, yeah. I mean, Gavin McGinnis is Canadian. So, I mean, right. I, I imagine though he must have uh citizenship at this point because yeah, his wife. To him. Yeah. But, uh, so he, he's, he's managed to stay out of trouble, but no, I don't think they'll send you back, but I definitely cannot get like arrested. You're talking for, about Gavin's managed to stay out of trouble. Uh, in terms of getting deported back to Canada, <laughs> there was a literal movement to get him deported back to Canada for a while. Yeah, I started it. Wow. <laughs> I want to get his four days a week at Compound. Danny, do you know my friend Christina Walkinshaw? Of course. Yeah, she she's uh she actually got me to stand up comedy, but she she got deported. She got oh, she so got we can blame her. Comedy. What's that? She got you into stand-up comedy? Yeah, when I, I when I moved to LA in two thousand. So now she's going to get trolled. Now she's going to get trolled by everybody for bringing she's... for introducing you to stand-up comedy. Yeah, you should yeah. probably bleep her name on the show, <laughs> uh, <laughs> just for her sake. It's like that. It's like a women and kids policy. You guys don't have that. Her <laughs> Instagram's gonna fuck it. She's gonna have to fucking delete all her accounts. Because I worked at a rib joint in Beverly Hills, and everyone there was like illegal. It was all Canadians. It was like Dave Nystrom, Christine yeah. Von Hagen. They yeah. were all we were all like bartenders and servers, and they were all stand up. So I was like, I guess I'll do it. Yeah, that's usually when how people get the calling. Everyone's doing it. I guess I'll do it. <laughs> hey, everyone's a fireman. I guess I'll be a fireman. Peer pressure. Is this what my you friends, guys are doing? Ever since I was a kid, my friends said I'd be a great fireman. You guys all doing it? I, I'm going to do it, too. Then what they the signed fuck? me up, and they didn't tell me. We're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it. Furious. This sucks. It's like having deer in your crosshairs and loud noise spooked Mario away. But Mario, I, I'm not a oh, fan. Okay. Danny is a good Canadian shuli, Jimmy I. Yeah, Danny's one of the good Thank ones. You. He Thank just you. negotiated a deal for us. Yeah. Oh my god! I can't believe you guys Shuley... bring me on and put me to work right away. <laughs> right. Julie's in my fucking business about how much I got to pay for the therapy session. Classic. Peter Brennan, brother. This guy has Owen Benjamin. Uh, brother, this guy is Owen Benjamin vibes. Hashtag Brennan. Me? Uh, yeah, but it, but yeah, just because you're oh. you seem a little, uh, you seem a little. You got a lot of opinions. I do have a lot of opinions. So what happens when you get kicked off of Instagram? Go to spend uh, time on Twitter getting opinions. Mario's a roach, did his plugs and left. Yeah, he knew he wasn't staying. That's why he was doing his plugs early. Uh, Robert Dunn, bag jokes can be dangerous. The U.S. should send a package of weapons to Israel. All the jokes by Chad and Shuley. A very dangerous arsenal of unfunny material. This it would annihilate Hamas. Huh? This was before I was here. I know. He's a, this guy's a prophet. Wow. He's a prognosticator. Yeah, how do you know? <laughs> they could hear rumblings. Like, Chad's coming. Come on, Robert. Uh, many friends with Gary Gilman. Book him, Adam. Gilman? I think he's saying this is a, he's, he's a, he's, he's not Gary Gilman. He's Gary Gilman. Danny. Okay. I don't know what he's saying. I, I don't even oh, give yeah. a fuck anymore. I can't, I can't, I can't keep it all straight. Mending fences with Gary Gilman. Book him, Adam. Glad. Uh, how do you feel about Gary Goldman? Uh, and are you, uh, are you, since you're. There you go. I'd like to read this super chat, please. All right. You owe go somebody ahead. $1,000. No, I'm not going to read it. But you owe somebody $1,000. Oh, this no, wait, guy, Robbie X. So is I that why Adam uh, Fox hogs the puck? By the way, he's from <laughs> Long Island. 
Is that why he hogs the puck? He hogs the puck because he's yeah, he's he's Jewish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait. So is that why Adam Fox? Yeah. Huh? If he's from Long Island, he probably is Jewish. Yeah, no, he is Jewish, and he won the Norris, I think, a couple years ago. What's the Norris for the best, uh, the nicest defenseman. guy? Huh? No, best defenseman. Best, uh, best defenseman with, uh, yeah, the best defenseman. Who? What's the? What do they give it to the nicest guy? Uh, the Selkie. No, they, no, it's not the Selkie. No, they whoever is the best, uh, the best, uh, nicest hockey player. They give him the, the Bing. The, the something or, Bing. Or the, or the Lady Bing. I thought yeah, the Lady player. Bing, I think. Or maybe the Selkie is like two-way player. I don't know. Yeah. Two-way player, huh? <laughs> Goes both ways. <laughs> um, yeah, I got to look at this Adam Fox. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's this. It's this it's, yeah, yeah, you're right. The Bing. Is it the Lady yeah, Bing? They the, call it the, the Lady the, Bing? Lady Bing Memorial Trophy. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they give it to what? The guy who's nicest on the ice or on and off the ice? Uh, the player that has exhibited the best type uh, of sportsmanship and gentlemanly sport, yeah. conduct. Mm. Yeah. Johnny Carson, 50 big ones. Jack Hughes on the Devils is an American Jewish hockey player. I also, oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I also found you laughing. At, I also, <laughs> look at this. I'm going to have Johnny Carson's going to bankrupt me. No wonder he gave me 50 bucks because I owe him a fortune. Jack Hughes on the Devils is an American Jewish hockey player. I also found you laughing at something Chad said. Uh-huh. I sent that to you, so that's two grand. All good. You can owe me. I'll pay you. Let's meet up. Chad, uh, Shuli will be like, make it four grand. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be negotiated. <laughs> make it four <laughs> grand. He paid stuttering John three. Johnny Carson, make him owe you four. You paid stuttering John $3,000 to come on the show? A Canadian. He doesn't like talking about Allegedly. It. I didn't fucking, it didn't cost me a fucking dime. I, I don't like talking about it. Who, who don't like talking about it? I, I, had a, I had a guy who put up half. So I paid, if this is all true, I paid 1500 And then we got 2400 in Super Chats. After the 30, 40% that you, that the, that the Shuleys at YouTube take, then we're down to like 1600 So basically cost me 700 and that month, I paid Ray DeVito twelve hundred. So who's a better investment? They're both bad investments. <laughs> There's uh, are we we're getting close to the your face is getting close to the color of the uh, David okay. Chandler. No one wants KB talking po- talking politics. This is horrible. I like a, people were complaining left and right yesterday. This is so horrible. But then the numbers were were good. So it's like you guys just love to hate. I I enjoy you guys hating me because I think like uh, Elon Musk said. When are we going to get rid of the hate? We're not. So just enjoy it. David Chandelier. Tread very carefully, KB. The last two episodes, Adam has gotten the last word. I believe he's trying to take over. Great to see Danny Masterson on a show. I get the last word. Oh, maybe because you're you cut your mic off. Yeah, but I don't try to. I, but, I, yeah, yeah. But that, I, that. I think I'm trying to be cool. Like I'm drunk, like. You know, when I do stand up and you you keep talking, right. as, uh, you like uh, clicked it for, I think, for the, dramatic effect. But then the last right, like, five words. Right. And I just said, good night, everybody. So, yeah, uh, they're talking about they're comparing you to Danny Masterson. Uh, da- uh, Danny, uh, Danny P. No. What do you think? What, how do you feel about Scientology? Uh, I don't know too much about it. It seems like a bit of a fucking crock of shit, though, but. Let me teach their own. This is America. Are you anti-rape? Uh, sure. I'm, I respect that, dude. Yeah. You, you respect what, dude? Danny that's Masterson? Bra- that's brave. No, that Fuck is you. It. Fuck you. Hi, Danny. Welcome to hell. My old neighbor, Danny, made a bet with me long ago. He bet me that he couldn't say that hard R for one day. He failed. Okay. All right, somebody's gonna have to tell me what this means. I'm not sure. I like the name. Fuck you. I think if anybody tells you, it's gonna have to be the guy that wrote this. Hi, Danny. Welcome to hell. My old neighbor Danny made a bet with me long ago. He bet me that he couldn't say that hard R word for one day. That he he bet me that he couldn't say. We need. To I hope live. English is not I, this person's first. I language. think he's really just telling a story about another guy named Danny. I think now, he really bet me that he Danny. couldn't say that hard R word for one day. He failed. 
So so he bet him that he couldn't, and he did. So he he used the the N word with the hard R. He bet me that he couldn't say that hard R for one day. He failed. It's I called for. Oh no, this guy this guy used the N word a lot, and he bet him that he couldn't use it for one day, and then he and then he did. Couldn't anyway. resist the temptation. Yeah, because he stubbed mm-hmm. his toe. I know that's what I do when I stub my toe. Chad, uh, uh, um, nice. I'm showing my age, but does this dude look like Sergeant Slaughter? Or am I, or am I a little drunk? I mean, both can be why, true, right? Yeah, yeah. Why not both? Do I look like Sergeant Slaughter? Uh, maybe what he looks like. What is Sergeant Who's Sergeant Ball. Slaughter? He was uh, uh, the WWE, right? Yeah, yeah. WWE wrestling. He was also he a GI Joe. Yeah. Was, yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. The the the. Flat brim, yeah. kind of mountain. Any crazy hat. chin? He has like the like. The... Yeah, huge chin. All right, Chad, you got to read this. Panhandler, fifty dollars. Chad Ray Levy, ski mask, Stevie Lou, that little girl that you just had on. Jesus, Kevin Brennan, you really are the Pied Piper of <laughs> Tard blogs. Whatever the hell that is. Congrats on the Tard team. MLC has assembled. It's not good. I'm not proud. I am not proud. It's sometimes I can't even sleep at night. <laughs> I mean, you need a whack pack. Hit the uh, like button. Yeah, hit the like button for God's sakes while we're here. Gustav, KB, during these troubling times, I think this really sums it all up. I just want to say, you know, can we all get along? Rodney King, May 1, 1992. Never forget. Never forget. Uh, yeah, you, Chad's combining 9 11 with Rodney King. Can we all just get along and never forget? Never forget what Ronnie King said. Uh, Ronnie King, uh, that's what they said on the news last night. Can we all just get along on Channel 7 News? They're like, can we all just get along? I'm like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I don't think Hamas watches Channel 7 News. Yeah, they're not going to side with Bill Ritter. And 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 now Bill Ritter's quoting Ronnie King. And after Ronnie King got his ass kicked by some by some cops. And then how many other times... Have have uh has that happened? Have people been Rodney Kinged? So it's like it's just gonna happen. Just just if you if you're black, don't drive at night, and 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 don't live near uh, Gaza if you're going to a music festival or if you want to live harmoniously. <laughs> like I've never been attacked by hummus because I don't live there. So so at some point you got to go. Where do I live? Is it safe? So if you're black, don't drive at night, right? Yeah, because they always go, I go, you know, a black, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good advice. No, because they, they're going to pull you over. They pull me over for driving at night because they think I'm drunk. I'm like, I'm coming Oh, from- man. Remember when you got pulled over on that bike? Oh. Yeah. Do I remember? That was good shit right there. I live for that stuff. No, uh, <laughs> no, but seriously, when I when I do gig when I do gigs, I, I know they're gonna pull me over because I'm driving at night. So I'm saying, if you're black, they they're de- doubly gonna pull you over. I'm just trying to get my my uh, stream taken down. They pulled over. No, 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 I think I think that's actually keep it keep it up. What you're saying, YouTube likes that stuff. What about uh, what, giving they, they people wanna, advice? They, yeah, but like saying, like, yeah, so we live in a racist country. You just you got to keep going along that line. Right, right, right. What happened yeah, to yeah. Jeff Die? I th- I know why I was bringing you on. What happened to Jeff Die, Chad? I just heard about it. Okay, he, don't be, don't play coy. You you know you know you know what happened. Well, I read the article, the People Magazine. He oh, he's he got, in People Magazine. Yeah, and Entertainment Weekly. It's a big article on there. Essentially, he got this more. I think it was this morning. He got. He hit a tree and then fled the scene, and then that got... sounds like somebody I know. Now mine was much more complicated. But you didn't flee the scene because you were too drunk. I was so like, I'm, I'll stay. <laughs> I'll stay That's... here. That sucks. You know, it does pitches complicate that, things, you know, you know how many so. first pitches he's thrown out? It's unreal. I don't even understand how it's possible. Yeah, like every major league baseball park. He's like know. throwing out the first pitch at like almost every major league baseball stadium. I don't even get how that's possible. Wait, because that was like his bucket list. I don't know. He must know someone who works in Major League Baseball. Because yeah, he's not he's, famous, really. Not that famous. Not throwing out the first pitch and like maybe you could trick them into your like home city, but like yeah. going around every park. No, he he does stuff for Major League Baseball too. That's how he got oh, in. Okay. What does he do? Oh, okay. What does he blow players? 
I don't know. What can he possibly do for Major League Baseball? I don't know. Exactly. They got plenty of handsome white guys in Major League Baseball as it is. Yeah. No, I feel bad for him, man. I hope he's okay because he's a good guy. Oh, you wish him well. Wish him well. I wish him well. Thanks. Thanks, Ray. I wish Thoughts him well. Prayers. Thoughts no, and prayers. I mean, what do you, what, you know, so, but he, he drove into a tree. What time is it? It was at 10 o'clock in the morning. Wow. So he's, he's morning drinking? I guess. If anything, he probably Whoa. stayed up all night. Right. After, yeah. after, after, throwing out, after throwing out another first pitch. In Burbank, California. Burbank? See, like, that's the kind of... That's where The Tonight Show was. Yeah. He was going to the taping. See, if I did that, I'd get deported. You would, oh, wouldn't okay. you? Yeah. Well, so even, what even... can you do? Can you shoplift and not get deported? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, I, I mean, commit, is shoplifting like, even illegal anymore? Misdemeanors, maybe? You'd be all right? Uh, yeah, they don't want you... Uh, they don't want you shoplifting because uh, a lot of people that now, now, yeah, now it's like a misdemeanor. That's why there's so much shoplifting because under a thousand dollars, it's not considered a real crime. It's basically like jaywalking. But you could get thrown out for any like arrest or anything. Definitely any felony. I'm I'm out of here. Jesus, Chad, could you imagine? I mean, you if you have a DUI in America or Canada, you can't like if you have a DUI in Canada, you can't even go to America. Jesus, Chad, can you imagine? Yeah. And vice versa. <laughs> so yeah i have a dumb hack joke where i said uh i moved to florida you have to have a dui to get into florida it's the opposite of canada yeah you gotta owe child support too (laughs) send bryce harper the link he's doing well rolando ramirez is this guy is this the guy that makes those piazza politics videos with that loser sissy ryan long (laughs) All they do is bomb, get bare ribs on. At least he's interesting. <laughs> wow. It's just yeah. good nature, good nature ribbing. I like hey, the Rondo. one that he, he posted today about how he hasn't, he's like an actor and he hasn't uh, weighed in on the Palestine Israel thing. And mm-hmm. who, bare ribs on that? No, uh, Ryan. No. Oh. Oh, I would love if Barry Ribs would make. Wait, Ryan Long is not, like is not, uh, doesn't have an opinion, he said. Well, it's just no, a he's joke. He's like, he's pretending he's an actor and he hasn't weighed uh, in on it. And the cl- clock is ticking and he can't figure out, you know, what side he's, you know, that more progressive to be. on. Right. It's very funny. Uh, Pecker 1981. Chad, dance monkey. It's a hype train. Chad, yeah, you did the hype train, train in, uh, 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 when you were at the hotel last week. Yeah, I did a hype train at the hotel. And what was that about? Was that was that somebody somebody Chandler gave you a thousand dollars? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's just one of those dumb things. I took it from Steel Toe, I, and he doesn't even play it anymore because I, I I got so successful with the hype train. Steel Toe is not doing well from uh, from from from, uh, from all appearances. He's he's uh, every time I see a clip, he's he's got his uh his, sh- his holding out the tambourine looking for money. He just hosted Kumia show. He's on fire. Uh, Chad, whatever happened to Barry Wood? I'm asking for Eddie Baker. Who's ba- who's Barry Wood? It's the guy at the that. sauna. Oh, I didn't remember. I forgot you guys named him. <laughs> I, we didn't name oh, him. He did named he himself. A- he was oh, a yeah, big, muscular, a- strong right. guy, and he called himself Barry Wood. One yeah. furious F. Is Lenny Marcus going to Tabron as special? Yes. Neil's turning fifty this uh, this month. Oh, happy birthday, Neil. Uh, we're going to have Lenny and, uh, yeah, Lenny taped a special last night at the at the cellar or something. Uh, or the day before, uh, that lady was on. What was her name, Adam? Oh, gosh. What was it? Tracy, Tracy. Tarzan, Taranzo, yeah. Tarzano. Oh, he did back-to-back. Peter Brenning did back-to-back. Is Lenny Marcus going to do promote? Yes. In case we forgot to read one, he's going to do the other one? I like how these Brennans are very persistent. Nice. I don't care what anyone says. I love Chad. He is nice. Fight the power, everybody. Chad, do you, you want to apologize to anybody or anything before There's you do a- your therapy session? Um, Make amends. Yeah, make amends. Let me think on that one. Maybe Danny, I'll- what's your take on Chad, Danny? <laughs> My take on Chad? Like Since just he's right in, here. In what regard? <laughs> From I mean you're not, you don't watch every show but you 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 you're you're aware of what's going on just overall 
I mean, I know you had a question about the uh, about the fight, just, the black guy. He's just surviving, you know. He's just he's doing. Uh, I think he's just he's. Uh, I will uh, survive. I will survive. He will survive, and he's he's like uh, he's just doing his best. It's like know? a cockroach. I didn't say that. I just the the one memory I have of you, Danny, is the I one stopped. memory I have of you. And what I just I don't know. You guys do Vietnam together? I don't even remember. <laughs> I think we've only I, met one time, which was at Kevin's roast. No, it was that. And uh, I have I, one memory of that night, which wasn't great. I stopped. Yeah, what was your memory of that night? Chad did not do great. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I stopped. <laughs> I stopped by the Orlando Improv because you and Ryan were there. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I just remember you chowing down on a salad like a maniac, just eating a salad. He's Canadian. Do you for me? What's that? He's eating a salad? It just remember, I was like, I was like, how hungry is this guy? I mean, just... <laughs> how good is that salad? Yeah. Not, I was like, probably not that good, but anyway. that's all I remember. You got yeah. it. You got the salad from the Improv Kitchen? I don't know where it came from. I assume so. Yeah. Wow. Because they're not yeah. known for their salads, comedy clubs, kitchens. Uh, Tio Hank, Chad is Gladwell Ape, a.k.a. William, reporting your rent as... Wow! Wow, I should have pre-read this one. This is Everything's fucking, on the up and up, so I don't give a shit. This is hot. Ooh, I like how you're trying I, to turn that into something. I try to turn everything into something. It's called get, it's child getting content. I do six, seven, eight shows a day. You do eight shows a day? Yeah, we do a matinee. We do a late it's like, night. Uh, it's like a <laughs> drive time. It's like Branson, Missouri. Morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if you ever see these like live streamers who just like will do like you know Hassan Piker and just nine hours a day. And just yeah, yeah, it's those... called the Shuli Network, and fucking yeah. Steel Toe but does. One person? Steel Toe does eight hours a day. Does he does four five in the morning? Does three at night? He does. He usually does seven hours a day. Sweet God. A lot. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of begging. I'll do a little begging, but not for seven hours. Yeah. Uh, Ski Mask Promiscuous Sister. Is that really her? Jesus Christ. Got a lot of Canadians now? watching the show, huh? Yeah, at the same time. Does that piss uh, you off that they send you Canadian money and it's worth so much I, less? I didn't even I thought it was worth more. I told myself it was worth more. <laughs> Oof. Ouch. Yeah, I've been telling them it's, it, oh, it's worth a bunch you, more. Pal. Yeah. I get the Euro and the uh -huh. Canadian, uh, the, the Shuli. What do they call the money up there? The Shulies? Just the a Canadian dollar. Loonies and Toonies. Yeah, and the Shulies and the Toonies oh. and the Loonies. There is a lot of Canadians watching these shows. Well, I keep yeah. seeing people giving you money in Canadian dollars, so. Uh, send my brother a link, you hack. Ski mask, commit, promiscuous sister. Uh, is that really her? I, I don't nah, think it's I've her, but it, it looks it looks like her. I think that's I think that's like a that. mug shorty's picture or something. That's yeah. Something. yeah she's got a square yeah. jaw. She's got a yeah, square right? jaw like ski mask. Yeah, so I, think that's my, I think that's my half sister. Uh, Furious F's KB. You had a mud skipper on earlier. Now you got a mud shark. Did this Danny guy just wake up? You're on MLC. See? Yeah, he's saying. Well, yeah, I did get Danny absolutely last minute. He texted me at like a. Uh, 404 he goes good to be I, on ml see he said can i get on your show sometime i go how about right now so he had no notice he didn't even get time to get to uh get a cup of coffee well, i've had many cups of coffee today i just always uh, look like i just woke up uh fear kb you had a is is the mud skipper uh uh you're talking about mario Bosco because he's yeah maybe that's he's mario. so little you can skip him on like a like a stone you can skip on water or is that yeah. a sexual thing wake up danny Oh, I'm always tired. What can I say? Well, you do a lot of shows. Chad, did you push your... Day. Not as many as you. Now here come the Chad ones. Chad is... Uh -oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, this dumb couple. Uh, we love them. Dumb. Uh, Chad is... A <laughs> this guy's fatter than me. I've seen photos of him. Ray met him at Detroit. He said they're, they're fucking great looking and they're not fat at all. Uh, lies a lot, Mister and Mrs. Kill everything. Chad is a violation of kosher law. The only thing that the Shuleys, Newports, and San Newports agree on is total piggy death. Suey piggy piggy. Chad, you can read it yourself if you want. If you want to do a different interpretation, fuck this guy. What? <laughs> uh, Chad, let's talk about credit cards. 
Oh, We're going to wait till oh, next wow. week. We're going to talk next week, Gustav. Uh, Chris Mack isn't smart. Newport is seven letters. Ah. Uh, 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 Kate, I, got, I can't do this. It reminds me of Levy because Levy used to actually do the voice. Kevin Benham, bro. If you're an American and you do not go to public events, public transportation, public transit, sporting events, shopping, my Hulk Hogan sucks. The 7 Eleven peeps are about to rise up, brother. NLO. What is he saying? The the uh like the LA riots, the 7-Eleven peeps? I don't or, know. No, he's talking about oh, he's talking about the people that work at 7-Eleven. Oh, I yeah, see. I think so. I think so. Okay, uh uh KB, bro, if you're an American, do not go to public event. Oh, tomorrow, public transport, sports event, shopping. The 7-Eleven peeps are about to rise up. Another up brother, NLO. Yeah, uh, Danny, you told us about that, but but I already heard that, right? Tomorrow's terrorism, um, International Terrorism Day? Uh, Day of Jihad, I believe. Oh, yeah. okay. And it's, but it's international, right? I believe it's all over the world, yeah. It's still, um, I guess, stay inside, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, something's gonna, I, I predict something's going to happen in New York. Jimmy I, did da- Danny, does Aaron Berg ever talk about Gino or In Hot Water? No. Are you talk to Aaron Berg frequently? I mean, I, I hang out with him, and he definitely does not. Uh, He's removed. He what does he out. talk about? Hockey? Uh, we do talk about hockey, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> no, he, he gave me tickets to a hockey game one time. Uh, to the Rangers? No, he was the... the oh, in the, Toronto? Toronto was playing... Um, oh. Oh, they got good. He has good seats too. No, Toronto was playing uh, at at a uh, Prudential. They're playing the oh. Devils. Well, okay. Well, that's me. And he couldn't go, so he, he and he. I, I went with. Uh, I took my son, and then we were sitting next to. Uh, we were we were sitting next to the guy he was going with. Some some other guy. I forget his name, but he red hair used to hang around uh, Compound Media, and uh, so I felt like I had to talk to him a little bit, you know. Yeah. Anyway, but it was awkward as fuck. Party boy. Ray had another hot chick. He isn't going to bang on his show today. It's really? that uh, it's that lady from Pittsburgh. It's oh, Tracy, Tracy yeah. Jane. Or, yeah, she no. hasn't had sex in like a year. I don't know where thanks, these people. I don't know. Where thanks to Mason in Portland, he just Venmoed me. That was nice. Thank you. What did he say? Um, just send me money, five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not Canadian. Yeah. Uh, DK Chad is Chad is a thief who preys on senior citizen veterans. Yeah, Chad, why did you steal an old man's credit card? Why why did you pick an old man? I never did. I never did. DK Chad, you still can't tell the truth. What what when, when's your statute of limitations? Or I already is, talked right? about it a million times. By the way, I, it's that's it, it, this month. It's officially three years ago. Wow. Can't Danny, you know about long. all this. What's that? When Chad went to jail over for like a weekend. What did you go to jail for? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, Danny. <laughs> it's like Danny's been like asleep for three years, and he's like, "Wait, what?" No, happened? it sounds like Danny's smart. He has shit to do. He's not paying. I know, but he he me. knows. He watches the show. He knows all the drama, but he it. didn't. I, I watch it here and there. I only. I know. I know. That's why we love it. That's why we love it. <laughs> So Little it's just piece funny piece. that people he's like, like a, he knows he's a palate cleanser. Yeah, he Good. knows some of it. He doesn't know all of it. Yeah. The so fact that he doesn't know it. about Chad's credit cards. I'd love to hear uh, you guys get caught up someday. Your credit cards? It's, no, he it's, stole it's, allegedly. He allegedly stole 50, 35 so, credit cards from a gym. It's so. From an old man. From an old man. He's, he's an elder abuse. Uh, who? So what? An old man had 35 credit cards? No. It's, no, Chad stole a couple, but he used them 35 times. No. Oh, gotcha. Whatever no. happened that? You have to go to jail for a weekend? Well, yeah, I got, got arrested, and it became a whole court thing, and then uh, then another court case got Did you involved. Win or lose? I pretty much won. What does that mean? He had a plea it, down. He had I didn't think a plea, but it was like, uh, it was nothing. Okay. So. That's good. And then he was on yeah. Zoom court. He was on Zoom court, and uh, he didn't know he was still on. On he didn't know his camera was still on. So he's walking around his uh his apartment. He's like ripped off his fake uh, tie. He had like a clip on tie, and he had like American flag behind him. And then he ripped it all down. And the judge is like, uh, "Mr. Zoomark, is there something I can help you with?" I only did, I only put that thing up so to cover up this shit because I didn't want them to go watch my podcast. 
where what you admitted to the crimes that you were saying you didn't do no it's danny it's keep going it's it, it's too many stories it's way too complicated keep going, danny <laughs> you want me to keep going no, no just let's keep going with the show because it's just like yeah, yeah come on let's I'm let's, <laughs> let's do some here, let's do some topics i mean there's so much it's, it's, it's already been talked about very vaguely many times yeah yeah. We've been beating around the bush for, right. for years now, three I'll, years. I'll do a whole show on it if you can. Well, the therapist is going to talk about it. So we're we're just getting you. We're just we're just. Uh, it's like the. What time you guys go to, by the way? I got to go in shortly. No, you can go whenever you want. Whenever, we will probably yeah. go to eight nine o'clock. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm kidding. We usually go at about six thirty. Okay. We do yeah, overnight we do usually. Yeah, <laughs> overnights. We do ten to six, Take like calls. a sports talk. Got kind of a Delilah vibe to it. Uh, DK, and, and, and then we do an after show. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> the after show is really where it starts kicking. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Chad is a thief who preys on cedar, who preys on senior citizen veterans. Chad, can you sit here today and say you're doing it? Where's the studio? Nice views on the football disaster. Fuck Chad, the felon. Leave DK. DK wow. hates uh, Chad, but he also hates somebody else. Who's who's he hates somebody else a lot? Maybe Ray. Yeah. He's kind of yeah. gone after everybody. A you guys bit. have like a ranking of like where people stand and like the like uh, viewers kind of the books, super like chats. This. No, just no, no, no. Ranking of like uh, guests of like like is you know is there like a clear like indication of where Chad stands relative to Ray? Like is he above or below? I'm, him? I'm above for sure. If you get out of periodic table, that, but, but that's what I'm asking is, do the do the listeners think that? I sniped watched Ray's show today. I had more viewers consistently the whole time, and he was on Shuli's channel that has over fifteen thousand subscribers. Yeah, so which they I, buy most of them. I don't believe that. You don't have to. It's a fact. Uh, to answer your question, Danny, yes, I uh, I mostly know uh, 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 who has more value. To the fans. Who, because, who's number? So it's you. You guys are one and two. Who's number? Three? No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying because I'm just here watching the show. So like people so, that the people that the listeners like the most. Yeah. Probably no, but Pat, the, the fucked up thing is. Yeah, but the Ooh. fucked up thing. Oh, she's is, funny. Everybody Man, loves you're, Patty. Dude, at your roast. Oh, she killed. Holy shit, she was funny. Yeah. Mike I, Morse wrote was, for her. What's that? Mike Morse wrote for her. Don't don't take anything away from her, Chad. That's true. But, uh, no, I don't know. But, but even if really Mike Morris did write right for her, she fucking nailed the jokes. I mean, she really yeah, fucking she, she nailed it. She was very funny that night. I remember being, like, surprised. I heard he just wrote the pauses in between the jokes. Yeah, he wrote the, the silent pauses. Mm. Yeah. The pregnant, they call, they call them pregnant pauses. Pregnant pauses. Pregnant pauses. <laughs> DK, ask about the, it's real Stevie Lou. Oh, Tell wow. him that, ask about the know. fake U.S. Uh, why don't you and Stevie Lou uh, fight for real? After he, he fights up uh, Asian he, Pat Dixon, he's nobody. Like he's nothing. It's, it's like I don't understand why you have him on. I really don't. Because he, he he interprets super chats. Yeah. Super he, he, as soon as I, soon as I see him on the show, I I turn off. I'm like I, this guy. I know, but a lot of people saying the same thing about you. That's not true. <laughs> well, he's he's saying that you said you did a USO tour. Did you? No. This is this is like a t- fucking almost 15 years old. So what happened was. Uh, I was supposed to go on a U.S. So tour, USO tour with a guy who does an L.A. comic who puts them on every year. Who? And I asked him, Johnny Jeff Cardinelli. Die. Jeff Die. And I asked him, I go, hey, can I do it? It is he Jeff goes, Die? No. So <laughs> What did you say his name was? Johnny what? Cardinelli. Oh. Oh, Johnny. You know him? You know. No, of course not. Johnny Cardinelli. Um, but he goes, on Sacramento. This, <laughs> he goes on this USO tour every year, and he brings <laughs> comics along with him. And I asked him to do it. He goes, yeah, you know, I booked pretty far out. And then he had a fallout. And I, I booked him, I booked two, war, two wars out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Desert yes. Storm 6. Right. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm booking right now the, the next Hamas invasion. Yeah, I'm halfway into Afghanistan already. So. And this on. actually ties into Jeff Dye, actually, in a weird way. Because and I, he said, hey, I got a fallout this year. Would you like to come? I go, yeah, absolutely. You know, because I do the whole, you know, my grandfather served in World War II. My dad served in Vietnam. I was like, I want to do high. something. Uh, of the other side, oh. the, they uh. So, anyways, was I was Charlie. Like, I since I never went to the army or anything, like my cousins and everybody, I was like, I, I want to do a USO tour for the country and just something cool, and uh, give give something back. At the time, I was on probation for the DUI charge from when I got fired, and the probation lady hated me and wouldn't let me go out of the, out of the country. So Why'd she I hate you. She saw your act. 
Oh. <laughs> so, no, just because just because I was well known in Cleveland and she just, I don't know. Anyways, long, long story short. I get it. I wasn't I allowed it. to go. So I just didn't say I went. I didn't say anything. So uh, the mor- morning show there who I got a big radio war with, we don't like each other because of his co-host and all this stuff. He just started making up lies on the radio about me. So that's what happened. He said, I, uh, lied so, I, on it. I just uh, didn't say I was gone. I didn't say I was not going. I just didn't say anything. How did they even know? I mean, this was after you had already left. How did they even know you were in L.A. by then? No, I was living in Cleveland. Oh, my, my friend okay. who books it lives in L.A. Okay. So wait, you so so wait. Right. They said you 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 uh, you couldn't go. You, the the parole officer said you couldn't go, but but they were saying you couldn't go because you went to rehab or what, what was what what was this? What's the story? I, I don't know the how story. the rehab thing got involved. I really don't. I don't understand that at all. I but. think they just sort of tacked that on. Yeah. So it was it was nothing. There was no lie. It was just I just didn't say I was. I, I didn't announce that I wasn't going. I guess. But you talked about going on the radio. Like when you were on the radio, you talked about doing. Now, it. I was off on the radio, but I was already on flyers and everything. For mm. for it. Oh, for yeah. the U.S. Doing a tour. USO tour, they do flyers. flyers? Well, yeah, well, it's just like social media flyers on lamp posts in Cleveland. They drop them out of airplanes in Afghanistan. <laughs> no, right. They even posted on Facebook that I was going, and then hey, know, hey, I- we're looking for food. We got Chad Zema coming to town. But why would they? They're they're advertising on Facebook to troops. I don't understand. Yeah, we were going on a USO tour. Okay. It's like a flyer for a show. It's like it, we, oh. I think they just wanted other people in comedy to know, hey, we're going on a USO tour. Right. Yeah. Like they took out a like page. It wasn't, actually for, right. okay. it wasn't actually for the purpose that a flyer. Yeah, it didn't, like, it, it didn't have the address and like admission. No, it didn't okay. like Kevin uh, Brennan's at the Stress Factory. It didn't tickets have available. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Go. All right. Uh, all right, Danny. Yeah. Thank there you. There he goes, everybody. But of course, like losers, fun. like there he goes. Fun coming out. See you guys. God bless. Um, but of course, like losers like Stevie Lou that just read Reddit all day, they have to like make something bigger than Stevie what Stevie Lou really doesn't is. read Reddit all day. He mostly gets high all day. Just smokes weed nonstop. When was your last show, Stevie? When did you do a show, you open micer? He, he did yesterday. No, like a stand up show. You're always criticizing other people. Uh, Jim PCL, where did lesbian Ray DeVito go? I think he's talking about uh, Mario Bosco. Send Talboy to Link and one week away from Neil's 50th. Who's Talboy? Is that Joey C? Or no? Wait, no. Talboy. I don't know. Towel Boy. Ray. Ray, maybe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe Ray. Chad oh, wants yeah. to fight Joey's, Ray. Joey's uh, a bad boy. You want to fight Ray, Chad? I, I can't stand him. I, I mean, it's not even a joke anymore. It's it's just like nobody irritates me more than this guy because he just lies nonstop. And he also just wants and needs and. He's, I mean, I just can't handle him. I can't, I can't, he's on a podcast. I turn it off. I can't, the tone of his voice, everything about him is awful. <laughs> the cut of his jib. Yeah. <laughs> he's just dumb. He doesn't stand for anything. I love everybody. Eh, no, you don't. You don't love everybody. You're the meat. He's probably the angriest dude I ever met in my life. Angriest. And I'm sitting across from Kevin. Wow. Uh, Mr. Panhandler, solid energy from the skinny fat guy. <laughs> he's talking about danny he's a skinny fat guy solid energy from the skinny fat guy try to contain this personality plus uh oh ray's on the phone holy shit hold Uh-oh. on oh, no. hello hey what's up so he can't stand watch my podcast yet he watched me for two and a half hours today yeah i know the guy who hates me so much yeah because i was clowning you because i was clowning you yeah, but that's a good point, Chad. If you can't stand the sight of the guy, why are you watching his show? I, I, I'll never snipe the Shuley show because I can't stand the sight of that fucking motherfucker. So I, am I going to snipe his show? No, that means I'll have to watch him. And, Ray, all you were doing was lying about me the whole time. Oh, the blatant lies. I uh, just want to point it out. Don't oh, crash. Got me. Got me, Ray. Uh, no, we appreciate it. doesn't flip over while you're on your fucking prescription medications. We appreciate uh, Danny coming on today because, uh, again, I like a fool, I thought Mario Bosco was going to be able to do a fucking show. And like a fool, I let him. Uh, hold on. What about me? Hello? Go ahead. Go ahead, caller. 
chat, you're performing for a bunch of fucking senior citizens this weekend in nowhere, Florida. You're a punk bitch and quad father owned your ass. A fucking quadriplegic with no Go history in entertainment made a fucking clown of you, you bitch. Send me the link. Go smoke some <laughs> weed. Wow. Go smoke your weed, Stevie. He like he wants the link. At least I no, have he needs, the, he needs the um Danny. I mean uh Stevie. Whatever he was doing yesterday, he needs it now. I mean, remember he did like four different uh five different kinds of methods to get high? Yeah, if he just even wanted to pick one of them today. Yeah, he fine. Needs but it's embarrassing. He, he just sits there and smokes weed on your stream. It's like Yeah, but then he but then he interprets super chats. What do you mean interpret? Because we well, interpret. Well, well, I, didn't, like, I don't mean interpret. I it, interpret. It's like he's got a sixth sense because he's like so yeah. stoned that he's he, like he, dark he's side like, of the moon. Yeah, he's tuned in with the. He's one with yeah. the chat. But he's not funny. He's not like no, no one's laughing at him. Yeah, but it's not a funny show. It's a soap opera. It's a serious show. It's a drama. Uh, solid entry from the skit. Try to contain his personality. Plus, thank you, Panhandler. I'm just gonna get caught up. No, Danny came in. Listen, I was. Uh, Listen, it's Thursday. I don't like to do a solo show on Thursday, maybe Friday. But once once I saw Mario Bosco was up to his typical shenanigans, I was like, whatever. And then it was a so Danny was a godsend. Plus, I, I figured uh, he was going to debate. He, I thought he was mad that I was talking about the Middle East and he was going to come come in hot. But then he just he just wanted to uh, have a couple of laughs. Jimmy, I Kevin get left fair on and we can call it Russian. Surely weak. Is Lev Jewish? Yeah. Didn't know that. And apparently he got real fat, and it's kind of hilarious because he used to be – Well, he the wasn't... last time that we saw him, when, when we went to that studio I used to work out of, he uh, he was larger. He had quite Yeah, but then I think he got on, put on weight then since he got then. – oh, more weight. Yeah, because the thing is, it's like when I first when he's, when I first started working at Stan, people like, you know, he was like the he was like the drunk. Oh yeah, he was the Joe name it. People are like all the women want to have sex with him. Even I want to have sex with him a little bit. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to, but I wouldn't have said no. Yeah. Furious. Danny P ever poo to your or something? Ever poo to or something. Adam, what's guy you laughing today? Ever poo to or something? <laughs> what does Send that him mean? the link. Send him what the does link. that mean? I don't know. Poo to or something. Adam, what's got you laughing today? Oh, it's so many things. Yeah, we got to. I almost asked Chip to do the show. I'm afraid to. I'm afraid. You fudge with me and I'll bust a hat in your uh, ass. It's, it's always weird asking Norton to get Chip on the show. It's just fucking weird. So I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to fucking pull the trigger. Danny P ever poo to or something? I think it's something Israeli or something. Maybe. Uh, send Chad to Gaza. They love piazzas over there. Yeah, Chad, you wouldn't do well in Gaza. No, I'm gay. <laughs> Gee, yeah, you're just finding out. <laughs> he came over to here to find out he's gay. It's to kill everything. Johnny Carson, Chad, who annoys you more, Ray or Steel Toe, and why? Ray, hands down. Ooh. I mean, no that's, way, no that's, way. That's on. I didn't think. No anybody. way. Maybe because they have more history with Ray. We, but honest, Ray and I were really not that good of friends. We were more of acquaintances. Like he always acts like I've known him for a long time, but there were years where I didn't speak to him. So Ray's got this weird delusion in his head, and the fact that he's saying like today he was like on his show saying I I stole. Uh, yeah, but he, he probably knew you were sniping him, so he was just trying to annoy Jordan's you. from the uh, Kent basketball, just like blatant lies. And I'm I like, had heard that too. Okay, yeah, it's the like. <laughs> from Ray? show me the source <laughs> no i heard it from the kent state uh newspaper from the equipment manager that's where i yeah. heard it yeah that's probably what happened Just johnny in. carson good oh, question gosh. though but you don't even you don't even care about steel talk because you really don't even have any relationship with the guy yeah well he started all of it that steel he started thing. it <laughs> yeah I, I didn't know who he was and then he came after me and no the thing about ray is he just gossips like a bitch and he makes up lies about me and he just always talks about me to everybody so I, I i just can't stand the guy i really Every, can't everybody talks about you to everybody but he just goes out of his way like like i told you that one time when florentine and uh paul verzi were outside the stand he goes did you hear jack got kicked out of mark norman's bachelor party and they were so annoyed like dude we're in the middle of a business conversation 
We don't. No, they gossip. weren't. Jim Nor Jim Florentine and Paul Verzi were having a business conversation. They heated yeah. heated negotiations yeah, about what they're working. They're gonna, they were working on a project together, and Ray just can't read the a room. Project. Yeah, I don't know if Eric came to fruition, but Ray yeah, did it because it was all fake. They weren't were they weren't having a meeting in the middle of the uh, street on on uh, front of the stand. Uh, hack insurance. We don't make promises, but we have low low rates. Yeah, we Ray, don't make promises. Ray, happens. if you're listening, I know you are. This is all you have to do. Shut your mouth about me. Shut the fuck up. Don't mention my name. Quit gossiping with stuff you don't even know you're talking about. Just be quiet, and I'll go away. Until then, you're my you're you're my number one enemy. Your number one wow. enemy. Jeez, number one. Hope- numero uno. I hope Melton has a. I did that number up. one time. You want him to keep his name out of your mouth. Yeah, or Robert put Dunn. Some respect respect on it yeah put some respect on his name robert Bird dunn man. chad has turned this episode into the jaws four of mlc he's a spiteful shark stalking kb just to ruin the show the most unfunny predator in the comedy ocean was there a jaws four yeah yeah it was jaws 3d i remember that yeah then they made jaws four like i think they made it pretty recently and i think the only one left was that was the uh was the uh police uh, the cat the police guy's wife Everybody else was like, yeah, no thanks. What was her name? Let me look it up. She was hot in, in the first Jaws, and she got. Wait, was it, the, was it the Revenge? Is that four? I thought that was. Uh, yeah, Jaws 4, The Revenge, 1987. Yeah. yeah, it was recent. It was recent. <laughs> yeah. Starring Lorraine Gray and Michael Caine. Yeah, Lorraine Gray, yeah, Michael Caine. They had to get Michael Caine to do some heavy breathing. And Mario Van Peebles was in it. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that's do that's yeah. Doo-doo baby. That's doo-doo baby. Bob's melt it ball set. You're a hack. Is it true? I think people are fighting in the chat. Bob's Bob's melted ball sack. 33 said you're a hack. Is it true? Oh, oh a guy, a-, a, a guy's telling me I'm a hack. Oh, okay. Huh? Hacka huh. hacka. I don't mind. I, I, I'm a hack. I mean, it, uh, uh, Nikki Glazer is putting out clips about how her asshole is clean and how she eats her boyfriend's ass, and she's one of the she's one of the top comics. But but I'm a hack. Uh, yeah, I'm a hack then, because I don't talk about that, and I know she's a she's a top notch comic, and uh, I really don't. And I think she's a good, decent comic. But now now it's all about content. So when 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 all else when when whenever in doubt, talk about how you like to lick your boyfriend's ass and how your ass is clean. If you go to her YouTube page right now, that's the number one uh, thing. Number one thing about how her ass is clean. So good for her. Thank you, Dada Boo Boo Bay. That's doo doo baby. Roger Waters. Wow. Sorry, I haven't been here in a while. Been dancing for five straight days. For my new live show, there's not going to be any inflatable pig. Just paragliders. Wow. Roger Waters, my hero, allegedly. Joe Rogan's friends with Roger Waters. I don't know if they're friends, but he was on a show. He was on Conan. I mean, he's he does all he's been on a lot of shows. I don't know if they're friends. But yeah, listen, Roger Waters is a fucking talented guy. And the fact that uh people don't like him, I think makes them uh uh, anti Pink Floyd or something or, or something. They just don't like good music. I don't know. I'm trying to, uh, yeah, but they're, yeah, paragliders. I'm going to leave it up the whole show in case Shuli's watching. Been dancing for five straight days for my new live show. There's not going to be any, just paragliders. Somebody take a picture of this and send it to Shuli. Send it to Shuli as a super chat. Thank you, Roger Waters. Chandler, ninety nine ninety nine. Keep the conversion simple for KB Adam. Blue, bad, red, good. Sup, Chad? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I love thought, everybody. I love everybody. I thought. Uh, I thought that's what Danny was talking about. My face got red when the when then we got big super chat. <laughs> no, I would get excited when he's talking opposite. about the. No, he said no. I thought he said when it matched the bottom of the screen. Oh yeah, no, he was talking about the. I mean, if, it could be that too. The uh, but I the thought red. he at first I thought he was saying my face would get all excited when we get the red super chats. 
Thank you, Chandler. Uh, keep the conversion simple for KB, Adam. Blue, bad, red, good. Exactly. Blue, yeah, that's bad. An easy, that's an easy way to remember. Red, good. Oh. Doesn't matter where it came from. Uh, super happy fun chatter. Everybody's is a regular. The the piazza in the upper right is a regular uh, side of the mic. Yeah, he uh, 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 Danny goes, I'm always tired. I'm going to use that with my wife. What's going on with your dick? I'm always tired. <laughs> you know that? I'm always tired. Chad, what's your credit score? Dre doesn't know his credit score. Actually, mine's fucking great. I have great credit. You don't, but what is it? No, I do. <laughs> I, I, but you don't. No, I do. All my all, all my okay. bills are paid. My credit cards are all paid for. There's no what, do, you, what, do you know what it is? Or are you just are they just um I haven't ran it in a long time, but then how do you know it's great if you haven't ran it in a long time? Changes quite a bit, depending on what your yeah, like, any, usage most, is. Most banks will let you do a credit, a free credit score in like uh, minutes. I'll get it for uh, the therapist show. And you yeah, guys, yeah, that'll be yeah, that'll be a section. Maybe he'll run it. Maybe he can do that. Yes, yeah. but if I go to the bank, I can do it for free. It's not going to affect my credit. No, no you I do don't, it online. I, no, you do it yeah. online on your bank on your bank app. Yeah, or like credit karma or whatever. I don't think it can, it's considered an inquiry. I don't think it isn't. It no, you can do it. It doesn't affect your credit. Yeah, because, thank you, to you Hank. Because I, I'm never late on a payment on anything, and I have everything paid off. Even when you, I just, I just wish I was a listener so I could get really outraged. You're never late on a payment. <laughs> yeah, because you use, use that old man's credit card. Oh no. yeah, I wonder, I wonder how the old man's oh, credit no. score is. I use the old man's credit card to pay mine off. Yikes. I mean, that was another uh, Ray Lice, and I, I used those credit cards to buy the old man followers. Called the old man's credit card. Well, I think, to be fair, I think Ray heard somebody else say that, and then he repeated yeah, Wait, what, it, what, he what, what did Ray say? He said that uh, I, I use stolen credit cards to buy Twitter followers, and it's just like, okay, show me that receipt. Show me that. No, he said he saw it on the on the. Uh, it doesn't exist. Your record, your police record. It doesn't exist. Things Look, you bought. That's just another lie. But that was one of the great stories that you used a stolen credit card to buy Twitter followers. That's something. That's something Shuli would do. Your your or your agent, Shuli. That's something he would do. No, it was Chrissy Mayer tried to make a big deal. But meanwhile, she bought all her YouTube subs, all her views. She did. She bought views. And she tried to, because uh, back in, I think, 2016, Sam Tripoli and I were trying to race to 15,000 followers, and I bought 2,000 to beat them. You did? It was, yeah, it was like a public thing. We talked and about you it. you never gave time. them back? They never asked for them back? No, but it's I've talked about it, like, publicly, so the other ones think. But never still, here, never here. I'm sure I have. No, we would have remembered. That's true. Uh, Chad, if you were a lucrative pig farmer, would you then say total piggy death? I don't get it. Lucrative pig farmer. He's saying that's what, uh, Mr. And Mrs. Kill one, you'd always say. So he's saying you can't say it, but how about if you were a lucrative pig farmer, you would say, cause they, you'd be killing them. So you'd say mm. total piggy death before you killed them. Yeah. I don't have that. I can't. If you're a lucrative pig farmer, you'd have a lot of pigs and you'd be killing them. So you'd be saying total piggy mm. death. If you're wiping out every, all of them. All right. What is this? Rumor has it. What? Chad and John are up for the role of, was that Shekel? Schleprock. Schleprock. Flintstone, Flintstone prequel. prequel. Hmm. Uh, Call my agent. Shuli. Rumor has it. Chad and John are for the role. Oh, yeah. Wasn't Schleprock actually? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like that character. Uh, uh, going back to Danny's point, who's more valuable in the in this world, Chad or uh, Stuttering John? Probably John. Hold on, I'll give him his props. John, are you watching, buddy? Hello. Hi, John. Hello. Hey, what's up? As you saw in the air. Yeah. All right. If Chad wants me to quit, why is he sniping me? I only reason why I talked about him. It's because he's sniping me. And also, I can't respond because John was with hearing. me. Uh, someone told us a story about you going around stealing the Air Jordans from the Kent State basketball team. That's not a story I came up with. Someone else told that story. That's want... why I said that no, story. No, it's true. Because you're sniping me, you fat-ass motherfucker. 
I can't respond. You want me to send him the? I can't respond. I can't respond. This is like total. I, you don't you're not here. No, I can send him the phone number. No, no, no. no it's better this way because he. It's better this way. He just has his has his say. It, it's like they're just leaving a voicemail. No, almost. and then Chad can respond uh, after he hangs right. up. He I'll just hang up. up. I'll, I'll take my response off the air. Maybe. Yeah, yeah Ray, I'll, I'll Ray, hang people, up and listen. I'll hang first up time, and long time. Yeah. People could say anything about anybody. Somebody can say that you uh, sexually assaulted a woman. I'm not just going to recklessly run with it. You've been talking. Well, you just shit about you me. just started that. You just started that rumor. Yeah, you know it's you're like, saying Ray is a lot like Vince Champ. People were telling me stuff what, what happened with him and Ari Jane in Detroit. I never mentioned anything. I, Nothing I, happened. Well, I, I heard there was an incident, but no, I didn't I think, recklessly I go with it. I, I think it's well documented. Nothing happened. There was didn't no she, incident. Isn't that what she said? She, they were both, yeah, there were nothing, there was no incident. Nothing, right. happened. nothing, nothing happened. But no, when it comes to me, Ray automatically has to, uh, yeah, but when it comes to you, everyone believes everything that's bad. And that's another thing. Like, Ray will, like, purposely gossip about me and go out of his way, to, like, to say shitty stuff about me. But he won't do it about you. He won't do it about Melton. And you guys have been way more vicious to him he's, than I have. He's, he, he, he's not like that way with Melton. He doesn't like Melton. And Ray Ray calls me a lot, and he, and he, he a lot of times crying. Yeah, because you know why? You're the only person in Ray's career that's given him an audience. He's never... This is the most successful he's ever been. So he's going to he's going to suck your dick forever. He's open. Not that there's anything wrong with that. God willing. Uh like I say I haven't been there for a while. What's this about credit cards, Roger Waters? I don't know if this is really know. Roger Waters. <laughs> This would be a real hoot if it was Roger Waters. I wonder if there's like a secret celebrity fan of the show, like somebody, yeah, who, who won't admit anything. About I mean, it's he's using a uh, European money, so the, so far so good. No, I'm a fan. I I really like, and the fact that he wrote most of the the Pink Floyd stuff. You know, uh, 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 what's the other guy's name? Gary, uh, David Gilmore. He's like, no, it, it's the two of us. Like Roger Waters wrote most of it, so. It was funny to see Piggy eat at the Olive Garden. Oh yeah, I never, I never watched the whole thing. I saw it, and then I just, it oh, was yeah, too, I watched, I watched it was some too of that. much. It was too much of like going around the table. I want to see, I want to see Chad order and eat. That's what I wanted to see. Did you ever hang out with that gal that uh, he was trying to set you up with? I'm, I'm drawing a complete blank. What are you guys talking about? In when you're in Dallas. Dallas. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, no, she came to the show with her mom. Oh, sweet. Wow. Was her That's... mom was her mom fugly too? Were you like, whoa, whoa, this is moving too fast? Yeah, yeah, they were nice. I mean, it was slow it down. Yeah, I, 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 I was. I got to meet your mom already. I, you, right. We didn't even have sex. We didn't even do the. Uh... Yeah, she wasn't my type. <laughs> she's not anybody's type. Yeah, she's a mess. She's a she's a criminal. That's that. That was the that was the uh, whole uh, bit that she's a criminal. You're a criminal, and you guys might have a lot in common. I got the bit. No, I mean that's what uh, uh, Alex Stein primetime ninety nine, and age, uh, and age. Every time my phone, th- I see someone else calling in. Uh, yeah, on my own fo- cre- uh, call screener, Jimmy I and age Mario Bosco is hosting Compound right now. Who's hosting Compound right now? Bill Schultz, probably. Hold on, I'm checking. And Joanne. Hmm. Maybe it's Don Jameson. Let's see. Oh, it's six. It's six thirteen. Is it still on? Oh, it's a new show. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, because it just says something went wrong. Chrissy Mayer. Oh, it's like that plane. We too low. We too low. boom ding out. Holy fook! Wait, did they? Let me see if they tweeted something out. wrong. Uh, Stephen Nasir, Stephen Springer. Oh, Steven Springer's here. We got to get him on. I can't wait. I mean, oh, this yeah, guy. Oh, yeah, Nasir never got back to me. This guy pays for everything. I mean, everyone pays him stuff. So I, I want to pay him to, to. I don't want to pay him for views. I want to pay him to be on my show. Does Quadfather rank above Chad and Ray in the rankings? Not really, because, uh, you know, Chad and Ray is. Uh, I pay my bills with Chad and Ray. Oh, Quadfather's only been on uh, um, twice, and and Chad enjoyed Chad and Quadfather were good together. 
Oh, it's that guy Lionel. Oh yeah. Who is that? Oh god. Did Where's he host the whole? Oh, he hosted yeah. the whole show. I guess so. Yeah, he's a he's a he he's the guy. He talk he talks even when uh one time he was coming on at five and they they kicked me out. They're like, you got to leave because Lionel won't do the show with anybody else except Kumia, and he talks the whole time. He don't even let Kumia talk. I think Kumia told me that. That might have been their nice way of kicking me out. Uh, Barbab. Hey, Danny, what's it like being on one of Red Bar's top new fools? Is that true? He's one of the top new fools? Guess so. Uh, Chris Mack, as a general rule, I believe all men, but it seems like maybe there's more to this court story of Chad's on probation for a case he won. Seems very odd. Go ahead. You can address that, Chad. Um, but it seems like there's more to the court story. Yeah, it's it's long and complicated. And if I tell you, it's like you're not going to believe it anyway. So why why would I just tell you I'm not believe it anyway? It's like I tried it. I tried it with my wife one time. I, I <laughs> you're not going to believe, believe it, it any. If I told you, you're not going to believe it anyway. You, t- you told your wife. You already talked about it on Patreon. Right? Yeah. I what would actually happen? And I you sent her the link. It'll <laughs> never be good enough. It'll never be good enough. You guys want to? You want me to? I was guilty for everything. That's all you want to hear. That's all you want to hear. <laughs> uh, Chris Mack, good question, though. Hey, Chud, do you ever have a memory of eating salad because you are enormous? How can you lay your head in a pillow knowing you stole from a veteran? <laughs> now it's a Jesus. veteran. Now it's a veteran. <laughs> well, it, was, it, before, it, was, it was before. It was an elderly <laughs> veteran, I think. Oh, he was always a veteran? I think, so. I think he was a veteran, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, according to his last super chat, <laughs> and then he's going to be a war hero. He's a veteran. I think he's going to start. He's going to start losing limbs and with things one like that. leg. Yeah, he, yeah. Mm-hmm. he's an organ donor. <laughs> he's dying from cancer. Yep. <laughs> no, he stole from a veteran. I'm all laughing at the veteran. The veterans are the. They're, they're the real heroes. I mean, people think fucking Ryan Gosling and fucking people like that are heroes. Veterans and cops and firemen, for real. They're the real fucking heroes, man. It's a fucking thankless job. No super chats. I mean, it's a fucking thankless job. So so next time you see... Uh, I always want to salute cops when I see them, but I think they'll take that as a... They, maybe I'm trying to start trouble so by the way shout out to the sarasota fire department they came to my show over the weekend and i'm gonna do a special event for them i give back the sarasota fire department yeah why well, they, they thought you're gonna i can't even say but they thought there was some gonna be some kind of conflagration at, at, the, at your thing because uh you would Going bomb down. so bad there'd be there'd be flames no there were a bunch of firefighters uh, there no, but why the were they there they just went for for a night out did yeah, they, night are they out fans town. day are off they fans they weren't they, they are now they and you can do now. a special Sweet. show for them yeah i will yeah, don't great. don't bring up when you do a special that you stole a credit card from a veteran <laughs> don't talk about that without limbs and if you do say it's i've covered it on my patreon so you might want to sign up for my Patreon if you really Yeah, want please to sign up for my Patreon. You really want to know what happened. Yeah, you could go hear the story right now. <laughs> what episode? I was, I told it like two years ago. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If, if you're gonna give, if you think you're gonna someone's gonna listen to your whole library? Yeah, uh, I got great, great back backlog. Uh, Gustav, Chad's voice is getting high, and he is stammering. A bit of fidgeting. Yep, Chad's a liar. Yeah, I think uh, a guy, a guy who's a who. If I mean people that lie have a lot of tells. We should get one of those guys on. Oh, like a, an analyst, a body language analyst. Yeah, because like that great scene from uh, True Romance. He said, he's, "You know, everyone, most most people have about twenty tells." The fact that I'm touching my this is a tell that I'm lying right when here. they're lying. And. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I mean, people that lie a lot, I think, get pretty good at it. But people that don't lie a lot definitely have probably some pretty obvious tells. That's what I'm saying. Chads are probably not very. Obvious. Everyone in this universe is lying. Carl, Patrick, every they're all lying to you. Let's let's just put that out there. I just tell yeah, you. I'm not, I'm not standing by. Listen, I'm not standing. I, I I don't Wait. vouch for anybody. Uh, you know, I'm assuming everyone's lying uh, either a lot or a little, somewhere in between. Everyone's lying. I mean. 
I mean, the best part was when Melton was like, oh, shit, Shuley, Shuley's just a fucking pathological liar. That did make me happy because that's, a, that's what I've been saying about Shuley from the beginning. He's a fucking lying piece of shit. Ray uh, said thank I you, good stuff. All the Jordans from the Kent State men's basketball team. Not all of them. He said most of them. And then I put them on eBay. So the team, the team had to play with their with kids. Yeah, because they they lost all the Jordans. I've never put anything into. Uh, I've never put anything on eBay in my entire life ever. I never, never, never I don't buy things from eBay. All right, somebody look to see if Chad has an account. Go ahead. Uh, Chad was told he had to go to rehab. He said no, no, no. Chad, uh, <laughs> shout out to Amy Winehouse. Yeah, Chad had to work out for her. She's dead. She's she no should longer. have said yes, maybe yes, instead of no, no, no. I mean, I always like when people brag about how how cool they are. Don't get me started with Geraldo, but I love when people brag how cool they are, and now they're dead. Don't get me started. Uh, Roger Waters, this USO Johnny character definitely exists. I hear he's a big fan of replayables too. Hmm. Now it's getting dark. What was the guy's last name? Did you say? Uh, Johnny. I don't think he gave a last name. It's just yeah, you said it. It was like that's why oh. we said it was like Bob Sacamano. Yeah. Oh. Go, go rewind the tape. Call yeah, this episode. Call this episode it. USO Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> No, he's saying he's saying he's a big fan of replayables because there maybe I think he might be saying he doesn't exist. Well, he's saying two things. He said he definitely exists, and he said I hear he's a big fan of replayables too because they don't have any real fans. So this is coming from all, a guy who well, goes by yeah. the name of Roger Waters. They're all fake. <laughs> he's Europe. I mean, he's in Europe, so it could be the real guy. I wear fingers crossed. Probably in like a castle or something. Uh, knock knock. Yes, twenty two said they don't buy subscriptions. Uh, uh, you're talking about uh, Chrissy? Oh, they 100% did. 100%. But they, but they said they don't. Yeah, they're lying. No, I'm, I'm joking. I mean, everyone's, everyone says, uh, Bob, uh, David Chandelier, Bob and Chili live from the Gaza Strip this weekend. I'll watch. I might yeah. snipe it. I might snipe them if they're if from the Gaza Strip. They'll do anything for views since they, since they, uh, got busted buying them. They can't buy them anymore. So they got to do all kinds of sh uh, uh, shenanigans. Finally, a real show today. The Mud Shark is a mega G. David Chandelier. I thought he was going after Chad earlier. Now, now he's a fan? No, I think that was somebody else. How many David Chandeliers are there? Wasn't Chandelier the one that did not like topics? Oh. I don't my, know. Let me look. I my, phone, my, my Instagram is blowing up with DMs. Any hot ladies? No, it's all dudes. Slide in. It's all dudes, dude. Oh, it's getting late right. here. David Chandler, thank you. Back to back. AZ Cats, this is what happened. Sorry. AZ Cats, this is what happened. Someone snuck a credit card into Chad's wallet and he didn't know it was someone else's car when he was buying chips, soda, and donuts. It's all a big misunderstanding. Is it, it is it something like that? Is that what you said on your Patreon? That's exactly what happened. Well, yeah, I mean, now it's over, right? So can, you can say what. How what about happened. if I did it? Well, what would yes. you? If I'll I write, did OJ it. style. I'll write a book about it. If I if I stole that veteran's credit cards, you are so Johnny. No, but I said I've all I'll stick by this for the rest of my life. There was another case with somebody else, and it was a whole complicated situation. It always says, uh, Peter Boothwood, I've got cancer. Send me a link. We already, who was the, who was the other guy that had cancer and he came on? Remember the oh, guy who was singing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was, hold I hope on. He's, he was, I hope he's doing well. I DM'd him on Twitter so I can check. We wish him well. Peter Boothwood, if you, if you have cancer, yeah, we'll send you the link. We can't do it now. It's too late. His name was Greg, Greg the dude on, uh, Twitter. Screenshot. Greg no. I don't know. Uh, send me. I know Greg Novak. Use DM if he DM screenshot and send it to me so I can check up on him. Peter Boothroyd, right. if you're for real, uh, let me know. I don't know why people do it as a joke. I've got cancer. Send me a link. Uh, Dig the super chats. Toga piggy death. Oink oink Chad. 
Oh, fuck, man. No coming back from this. <laughs> uh, crumb bomb. Chad is a fat neck. Wow. Man, he's, he's been doing that. I just blocked him on my YouTube because it's just body shaming. It's the same thing over and over. And it's just like, oh, you got that me. You have a fat neck. Yeah, uh, like, Draper. Chad is the worst. Ray second worst by a cunt hair. Good Draper. Maybe he's into fat necks. You know, I like how you like, can't spell guys like that fat. Look at that fat ass. I like how you, you know? can't spell cunt. You got it's separate. always dudes like commenting on looks and features. It's dudes every time. Uh, Chris Mack, Grant Crumba, my reprieve, Chadley. We demand it. Nah, I'm done with that dude. Why? What's he do? He just like he'll troll you, and then he'll for like a couple months he'll act like he's your best friend, and then he'll go back to trolling you, and it's just like annoying. It's just like okay, dude, you got me. The same fucking joke. As early as yesterday, Chad called Adam a bitch. Comment. Wow. I, I thought did? we were good, Chad. I think the audience is lying. Now as they're lying. As early as yesterday. Now they're lying. I was saying, I'm like, I love how the people that I'm actually nicest to always turn on me. Stuttering John did, too. I was being very nice. Chad, who annoys get, you more, Melton? I get, I get uh, penalized for not piling on. No mm. good deed. Chad, who annoys you more, Melton or, or Carl, and why? Carl, for sure. Carl just hated Melton. No, I just, Melton just started trolling me, and I'm just like, all right, dude, whatever. But and uh, so does Melton still do your merch? No, he yanked it because I, I said I didn't know who Patrick was one day, and he got bought it. He's a very sensitive boy. So you say anything remotely off well, when you he, run a merch operation like he does, he he's the king. So he, 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 he does what he wants. But Carl, we almost yeah. got to do like brackets for like who Chad hates the most. Yeah. Carl's annoying. He's, he's that, that weird energy that, Oh my God, God Kumia, I hope he's okay. I, I just don't. Like yeah, but you were on a show with him that day that you uh, uh, trolled stuttering John, that classic troll. And you guys all had that Sunday show together. You yeah, and Carl, Bob and Shuli and, and Don Jameson. Um, he tricked you. Carl did. How? Because he uh he was acting like he was uh liking what I was doing, and then he went right back to uh talking shit. Yeah, because he needs content. The only content that gets any numbers at his show is about this show or Stuttering John, mostly Stuttering John. So I'm going to be perfectly uh, transparent. Uh, good question, Johnny Carson. That's why that's why he was the king of late night for years. Chad would that's a good question. Chad who knows you more Melton or Carl and what? Chauncey Gardner, guess who I am? Guess who I am? I misheard, I misspoke, I don't remember. Also, Ray is funnier than Chad. Wow. Wow, and that's from a, a very nice man. Chauncey wow. Gardner. Yeah, he that's, was Atlantic City. Geez. I didn't think he had a I didn't think he had it in him. He didn't have a mean bone in his body. Frankly. Yeah. I say this. How about Ray and I, we go do a guest set at a club. We don't promote it. We just tell each other, and we videotape it in front of a, a room full of strangers, and we'll see who's funnier on stage since he's this joke master. Pick up a pen. Go pick up a pen. Write a joke. Write a joke. Uh, Robert Dunn. Uh, Shirley's making Jaws 5. The plot line is amazing. Set in Gaza. They turn the orca boat into a crappy tank and roll into the desert shouting, Let's drink to our legs. I don't what's I don't get the legs <laughs> part. I don't get the legs part. Yeah. I, I've saw, I've seen John enough I've seen John enough times that I, it it should make sense. Legs let's drink to our health. I I mean they do they do toast when they're before the shark shows up and they're sitting around drinking and they're telling stories. Let's drink to I don't know. Why did Jaws become such a big part of the show now? Why, what did I miss? I don't know. Ask Danny. Ask Danny Pate. No, I just watched it, and then and then it became. I don't know. It's a great movie, and uh, whatever. Um, like you just fall in love with these movies, and like Training Day, and yeah, they're great movies. Yeah, they are, but it's just like, you know, who cares? What am I supposed to care about? The Pampa Bay Buccaneers? Not not playing bad. Uh, yeah, sure. You got your quarterback back. You should. Right. You're Mayfield, you baby. You should be thrilled. 
Put on that piece of shit to Sean. He's, he's like, he's like following you. I swear to God, if, <laughs> right. if you smoked enough weed, you'd be like, why is he following me to every town I go to? Detroit now. I mean, uh, Cleveland now fucking Tampa. What the fuck's going on? Anyway, Robert Dunn, send me a DM. Explain to let's drink to our legs. Cause I, I was, I was with you all the way. Oh, yeah. Until let's drink to our legs. Something about uh, if you put it in the in no the something chat, about I'll... how they maybe they 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 lost their legs in a in a, in a in landmine or something. I don't know. Send me a DM, Chadwick. You back where you belong. Good job, KB. Listen, man. I, it it was between uh, Chad and Mario Bosco. I, unfortunately, I gotta I gotta slide with Chad. Uh, Mario Bosco is literally a delusional fucking nothing. I'm going to a. I'm going to. A, I, I've been invited to have dinner at the pier. Nobody gives a fuck. I'm in a movie. Nobody cares. Nobody will ever care. He got his plugs in. He really yeah, did. He, he plugged products he is, and establishments. He is a pro when it comes to that. Yeah. SD one eighty seven. Thank you. Uh. So, chat, uh, beloved chatters, uh, Ch- uh, Ray just hung out with beloved chatter in, in Baltimore. First of all, it's not parole officer. I, I didn't, <laughs> I'm not, and it was never on parole, it was a probation officer. <laughs> yeah, but to, to us, to people who don't go to jail a lot, we don't really know the difference. Right. We just probation learned the difference somebody explained last week. Us, yeah, yeah, somebody explained probation and parole, but we didn't know until then. We st- I still don't know. Somebody explained it, I still forget. Well, it's if you did actual time, right? It's parole and yeah, like probation say, if you didn't. Say if I would have been found guilty on all charges with this credit card thing, I, w- I would have went to prison. And then it, depending on how long the sentence is, I would have been on parole afterwards. But, but probation is when you don't go to jail, but you still can get in trouble. Yeah, and it was terminated early. And then so somebody chance- said that's a lie because he said the parole – uh, probation officers don't make that decision. Only a judge can. I used the to judge made time, the decision. I still do, but I used to too. No, the judge made the decision, but the probation probation said, I, "I'm giving you all the paperwork for you to get off and go take it to your attorney," and they agreed. They terminated. It. He didn't terminate it. All right, we're gonna get the judge on. Bring him on. Uh, beloved Chad, so Chad's parole officer in Cleveland hated him because he was too famous? Question mark. She was way off base thinking he would fall back into a life of crime. No, what happened was, is the judge, and I hope he's no longer with us. He like, cause they were, they were sending like local news media to the, to the uh, court for my stuff. And when I, when I pled down to a reckless operation, he knows like I got one over on him. So she was just on me nonstop. It was awful. It was way worse than what I just went through. Way worse. Him and him and uh, Ray are tight. Beloved Chatter and Ray are tight now. He used to like me too. Davy Cakes, uh, nine and nine. Amazing to see you. Amazing to see Chad back. I can't wait for the therapist. Chad, are you gonna chicken out? Can you believe Shuli got a doctor? Coincidence? Piazza. Yeah, I mean Shuli's such a hack. He's like, oh, Kevin's getting a th- why? Why is he in my business? Kevin gets the therapist. Now we're gonna get Doctor Drew. Uh, and, and apparently, Doctor, everyone was saying Doctor Drew was couldn't wait to get off that fucking show, so uncomfortable. And uh, and now he's getting involved. Isn't Carl said it's an act of violence when you get in someone else's money? So now he's negotiating for Chad. I mean, what, worry about your own pathetic fucking uh, 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 empire. Hey, honestly, when I do Shuli shows, he does pay me well. That's that's a fact. What's well? Pretty good. <laughs> You're already dropping from well to pretty good to not not bad. Uh, he, he he gave me uh gave me some uh, Chipotle uh, uh, food. This farm. is this is the explanation for the Robert Don Quentin Hooper have their legs up on the table showing scars, and Quint suggests a toast. To uh, the legs. All right, all right. I don't have this. I remember the scene very well. I just don't remember the toast to their legs. Thank you. Uh, How do you do that, Adam? Adam? Uh, you got to set up a custom okay, uh, custom screen share window, and then you can make that the window. Okay. Now Chad's going to steal that from us. I mean, it's not like a proprietary. You got to kick up if you do it, though. I need, I need a percentage. Yeah, oh. yeah. We, don't like light on, we don't like light envelopes. <laughs> 
But it's pathetic that Julie would get a doctor. I mean, it, the guy's obs- he's more obsessed with me now than I think he is with Stuttering John. It's amazing. Chad, are you going to chicken out? No, if I get paid, I'm in. Let's go. Yeah, you're getting paid. We already got sponsors. All right. Uh, super happy fun chatter. Chad is under underratedly fat. I know he's fat, but wow. Underratedly fat. I know wow. he's fat, but wow. Oh, he's saying it's like you, it, you're, it, it's, uh, people don't talk about it enough is what he's yeah, saying. It's like, it's like, you know, when someone's overrated, oh, he's overrated. You're underratedly fat. You're like, you're fatter than, uh, than people talk about. You know, this is like the first two years of my life that I've uh, ever been called fat. So it's, this is all new to me. It's like, I grew up playing sports and it's like, I gotta be honest with you. You're motivating me. You are. <laughs> it's been two years. Roger Waters, Roger Water, uh, Roger Waters demands we have a Ray and Chad MLC reunion show as soon as possible. But Chad, you want that, right? You guys want to work it out? No, he oh. doesn't want to work it out. He wants to do a show where they scream well, he at each wants, other. Uh, I think he, he was implying he wanted like some kind of joke off, almost like no, a but he wanted. He want, no, he said he also want to come on here and and fight it out. Oh, with okay. Ray. Is that if right, he, Chad? If he could do it there, like, these jokes, just jokes. He never tells jokes. Like, where are your jokes? You repeat yourself three times and laugh at yourself. No, well, no one drunk else is most of the time. Um, send the link to the hero veteran who was violated by Chad and had his life and credit score ruined. Must be easy to find since the police report is public. Yeah, he's on next week. He's a they give hero. the guy's name? They give the veteran's name? <laughs> I don't know. They know. give his his name and rank, I think, <laughs> right in the report. I wish all these armchair detectives would go dig dig further into this and find the other police report. I was someone... amazed at how much they found, though. I didn't realize that kind of stuff was even public. Oh, you're <laughs> right. Uncle Stokes crazy. is right. Uncle Stokes is right. I compared Ray to Vince Champ, but Uncle Stokes is pointing out accurately. Ray is the opposite of Vince Champ. Yes. He runs from women in every city. <laughs> That's yes. exactly what he is, Stokely. <laughs> Teddy, raise excuse. Oh, people told me that I am. I people told me that, so I ran with it. Like how we ran around talking about Pat Dixon calling Melton a liar. Ray's giving himself an out. That's true, one hundred percent. So he's, he's saying he's saying he just that's what I heard. Well, fucking uh, stunning John came on here, and I said he said he was talking about somebody sent a super chat. What about uh, uh, and stuttering John goes? Well, I heard it on Reddit. I said, Reddit. I said, I said, John, you know what they're saying about you on Reddit? So you want everyone to believe what they're saying about you on Reddit? Hack. Yeah, Ray said that video that Melton, I think B Dabbler put it together, was it fake. It was fake. And then he said Pat Dixon, you know, with all those he just runs. He's reckless, dude. He's completely reckless. Smokey to Berg. Hey guys, my pal Stein ID uh, having domestic violence issues. All right, I don't know what this is. I'm not going to read it. I left it up, but I don't know what it says. I don't know what he's saying. I'm not going to interpret it. It's like a riddle or something. I can't. Um, I'll look at it later. Or maybe I'll look at it now on the side. Somebody read this, please, from Panhandler. Chad, you seemed less than engaged your last two MLC appearances. Is it simply a money grab? Which is fine. We know you need the cash. Do I seem less engaged? I think I'm being like I always am. <laughs> Not engaged. I pride myself on my lack of engagement. No, everybody comes on here now. They're like, they're like, they're like expecting fireworks every show. And I'm like, I, I listen, I can't do fireworks every show. So uh Chad, you seem less engaged than your last two MLC appearance. Is it simply a money grab, which is fine. Plus, plus he didn't know he was coming on. Like Danny didn't know he's coming on. So they're not, they're not all. They're not all coked up. Yeah, and I've never did uh, podcasting with Danny, too. So there's, you know, chemistry. Uh, Party Boy. Thanks, Panhandler. Party Boy, we need a Google Sheet so we can start compiling lists of topics for the therapist. Don't want to miss anything from the Folgers incidents. <laughs> the Folgers incidents. Folders. What was that? What was that? I mean, I think he's talking about your stepdad and the coffee. Oh, <laughs> good memory. <laughs> I like how it doesn't even... Calls it the Folgers incident. It was something specific with Folgers? I don't think it was the the brand. I think it's coffee in general. I don't know that he ever gave a brand. I think Party Boy is speculating. 
Uh, Panhandler, Chad, why did you steal from Captain America? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I mean, the fact that he's a now guy, he's a, I heard the guy's a war hero. <laughs> a purple heart. Chad, did you meet the guy? Did you have to meet him at court? Like, did you have to make a statement to his family? No. Like, no. you know, wait, when you when they find you guilty and you want to get a lesser sentence, you have to be like, I'll apologize to his family. Like, if you murder somebody. I believe that those that charge was moved over to the other case with the other person. That charge in particular. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so your Honor. Uh, Roger Waters, Your Honor, I covered all this on my... <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's saying to the judge yeah i don't want to go over this again he's on the witness stand he's like it's not, this is on episode 32 yeah of uh, my patreon it's also part of the football show so your honor uh, if you'll just click on the link <laughs> sign up to the patreon everybody <laughs> roger waters everybody. <laughs> chad's tell is the video of him committing the crime yeah chad that's your tell that's the tell oh, oh but the, if he's lying No, it's like, what's Chad's tell? Oh, we'll play the video. It's him committing the crime. Chad, do you feel, do you still feel? <laughs> yeah, are you yeah. guys talking a lot? No, nah, we put just we apologized and said it got out of hand. Both sides, and we put it to rest. What did he do to you? How did it get out of hand? Because he made jokes about your family? Yeah, I mean, it was stuff that was being said on both sides. Yeah, but they're all dead. You know, all the jokes he made, were people, it, people were it dead. Does, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter. It does matter. Melton says you can say anything about dead people because they're not here to hear it. I don't agree with that, but that's what he says. Oh, then it must be. No, I'm saying I'm not saying it is. I'm saying, but that people have a different take on it. But I'm saying, like, uh, you know, I mean, it, it is different if people are living with somebody and you talk shit about them versus somebody who used to live with you and now is dead. Johnny Carson. Uh, Chad can't write jokes when his pen is up his ass. Oh, come on. <laughs> that one was, that one went too far. That was the one. Huh? That was the one. That's the one. I got to go. <laughs> play, the, play the Tonight Show music. I just No, the, the best part is all these people like Mr. and Mrs. Kill Everything. They met uh, Ray in Detroit. Uh, uh, beloved Chatter met Ray. Like Ray's, Ray's going around like, Jay Leno used to do when Jay Leno did every city he was in every town he would go by NBC when he started guest hosting the Tonight Show he would go to fucking M Odell, all the local NBC affiliates to to kiss the fucking NBC of uh, you know the whoever was in charge in Chicago every city he would go by NBC because he was a he was filling in for Johnny Carson and and it worked so that's what Ray's doing Ray's doing the fucking uh, Ray goes to every town he he makes friends with people and then they all turn on you. Yeah, well, you know, that's the thing. Be careful when you get Ray in your life because he'll never go away, ever. Especially if you have a spare room and a couch. So you think Mr. and Mrs. Kill everything are they going to late night knock on their door? Be like, yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah, like like the guy when he got locked out of the uh, the 7-Eleven when he stayed with his buddy in Washington. <laughs> yeah. And he had to go to, he was wearing a robe and he went to, and he had to use the guy's Facebook. Or something. <laughs> if you like people asking you for countless favors... You're welcome. Ray DeVito's your guy. And then the guy came out and asked him to keep it down. <laughs> that was when he was not when he was one live of the streaming. Best. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was he was like this. That is was the a guy? great moment in oh, live this, streaming. Yeah. Uh, Roger would have said Chad stole the war hero's credit card, then kicked him repeatedly with his new Jordans. <laughs> From gonna have to write a song team. about this. What rhymes with sauna? Not many things. He'll figure out something. He's a great yeah. fucking singer-songwriter. Uh, thank you, Roger. Well, I explained it above. Yeah, we got it, yeah, didn't we, we? Yeah, we. Thank that, you. This is probably. It wasn't uh, that long ago. After, but yeah. after that. Thank you, Robert Dunn. Now I'm going to watch the movie again to make sure he's right. Uh, Chris, 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 is Chad sure it was Saratoga Fire Department and not the Saratoga Bomb Squad that showed up to his gig? Well, Sarasota, but I get the joke. Saratoga, yeah, Saratoga. Oh, but right. That's right. upstate New York. That's yeah. the Tommy. Uh, they Nikki. got that great water in the blue bottle. Uh, yeah. In any case, uh, it's a win. I, I, Chris, 
Domasium. I can't say the name still. I tried three not times. Not bad. Not bad. Chris, Christ, home, ham. Party boy, rock and roll legend Roger Waters, Roger Waters is cooking Chad harder than a Gazan child caught in a Shuli napalm bombing run. Wow, that was like uh, pretty good. <laughs> Sorry to get topical. Sorry to get topical. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, at least we're not discussing the war today. People will be like, tomorrow they'll be like, bring back the war, keep Chad off the stream. Uh, Danielle Carver, what's Chad's thoughts on Eddie Baker Mayfield? Eddie Baker Mayfield. Eddie Baker Mayfield. Um, Was that Eddie Baker, the super chatter, or Eddie Baker, the football player for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I love Baker Mayfield. There's an Eddie Baker football player? No, they're just combining. No, Baker I know, Mayfield. but I Chad, Chad said Eddie Baker the football player. No, he's saying Eddie, be. he made it fun because we all know Eddie Baker. I'm not Eddie Baker mm-hmm. and he, and then you're saying but he made it Eddie Baker Mayfield. So so that's like the perfect uh Chad's perfect guy. He's he's, he's from Cleveland. Uh now he's in Tampa. Chad's in Tampa. His name's Eddie. Uh, Eddie Baker Mayfield. It all works. It all works. It's like one of those uh, things on Jeopardy where you got to combine two names. Uh, what's your thoughts, Chad? On uh, Baker Mayfield or Eddie Baker <clears throat> Mayfield? I'm grateful they're both in my life. Okay. Chad knows. I can't read this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Somebody else. Chad knows who Tallboy is. Me is greater than Kevin Brennan, greater than Danny. Greater than Tom, Neil. What am I missing? I guess he's. They're saying that Kevin knows who he means when he says towel boy. Mm. He's saying no, he said Chad knows. Who oh, towel Chad boy. knows who towel. Oh, so you're towel boy. Maybe oh, that's me. He's saying Chad. Oh, so I'm super chatting the show. No, he's just saying he referred to a towel boy, and we didn't know who he meant. And I guess he's saying. You I think Ray towel is towel boy. That's what I thought. And he's also know. saying Peter is better than Kevin, who's better than Danny, who's better than Tom, who's better than Neil. They're all uh, Brennan brothers. That was another thing about Carl from Who Are These Spots. He said he was, because he was talking about how cool he was, like when he was younger. He's like, I was like Marty McFly. I could play, I ride skateboards, I could play the guitar. So that in his mind, he thought he was a cool guy. Because of Marty McFly. Yeah, I don't think he was, uh, yeah. DK, when Chad brought wings. Bought wings with the stolen card. Uh, right, somebody else read this. Well, he bought wings with the stolen card. The bartender said, thanks, General Patton. <laughs> no, he said because he's a, he's a war hero. Oh. Gotcha. Oh. gotcha. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Is that why they were all saluting me? <laughs> Thank you, DK. Oh shit! I mix. I miss Jax. She's dead, right? Delosa. Chad, you ever have sex with her? No, I didn't even know she was. She worked at the stand. That's the only place she worked, and she used to be a dancer, stripper, and then yeah. she was, then she was a comic. I, I don't know if I ever saw her do comedy, but she was definitely attractive. But you could tell. You she could said tell. she became a. Remember when she was on the show? She said she became a dancer, like to get back at a guy because he was dating a dancer or something. It was oh, a really? crazy story. Yeah, like she got breast implants and became a stripper. It was... I mean, she was definitely, like, like attractive, but you could tell yeah. it would be, it'd be like a fucking handful to just uh, date something like that. She used to be a stripper. Now she's a comic? Jesus Christ. I'd rather was... be I'd rather be hanging out in uh, fucking Gaza than be dating, be a... dating a fucking stripper that now is a comic. We gotta get that. Remember that that stripper who was a who, the lady who did porn. We should get her on one day. Remember Which she one? used to do a show at the comic strip. She lived up there. Oh, Aaliyah. 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 Yeah, she would do. She would probably do the show. Yeah, they kill you her. Can reach out to her. They kill her. I think you ever do? You ever it. do privates? You do private. Remember every time she got Brian McCarthy? It would just be Brian. You do. You do, you do privates. She you ever do coke? coke? I yeah, think, uh, yeah, I don't think it would guy. be, I don't think anything in the chat would be worse than Brian McCarthy in person. You do, right? You do. You ever do coke? He'd, he'd ask her every time. <laughs> like, Brian, you ask her that got... every time. He goes, I do. 
Yeah. You oh do. my God. He She's not going to do so... private. She's not going to do a private. <clears throat> I think you... this label had a little crush on her. If you yeah, do the show, with, if you do the show with Brian McCarthy, I want to be on it too. All right. I think enough times. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. That'd be funny. Fans yeah, you guys could talk about the uh, old times when you stayed at his house. Yeah, yeah, the crepes. Revisit the crepe story. Yeah, yeah. you could give the your version of what happened with the crepes. Yeah, and he could give his drunken blind version. Him, what him happened. pulling the, the the covers off me in the bed when he was in his underwear. What? When I stayed at his house, he he tried getting in the bed. And he pulled off your underwear. Well, wasn't he like? In some stage of undress, too. He was he was in his, in his underwear. Oh, That's okay. all he was wearing was his underpants. Yeah, his his underpants. Damn, his underpants. You, I feel like you got lucky. If I kicked him too. I kicked under, him hard. Underwear. So he jumped in a bed un, under the covers, just in his underpants. He's tried to, but I kicked him. And he did he run away squealing like a dog when you kick he was, a dog? He was giggling like a girl. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, broccoli. Forget Mario. Let's get Carrie Caravas on. Need an update on her husband's pension. Uh, Jack's dance at Gallagher's 2000. She did? I didn't know that. I never saw her there. Listen, Broccoli. I don't, I, think, I don't think she did. That would be amazing if she did, but I don't well, think so. Well, it, it would make sense, though, because you don't want to date it, dance in the city, so you, you go to right. one of the boroughs. No, but the thing, Broccoli, uh, she Mario was supposed to do the show from Carrie's house today, and I thought Carrie would jump on. And we can ask about her pension, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, it's fucking ridiculous that uh, Mario fucks up everything. Because I, did I want Mario Bosco to do a show in a car and then he would lose his audio when he hit a fucking pothole? No. Broccoli, thank you. And nice. Love you, gents. We'll accept, at, we'll, we'll, we'll accept Adam. I don't know what he's saying. Oh, he's yeah, we'll oh, you're probably going to accept. Kidding. He's going to accept Afro? your... Uh, he's he's uh, bearing the hatchet. I think he's just joking around. He's saying, "Love you, gents, except Adam." Kidding. Oh well, except F- Adam. I don't, I don't know what the F O F to O means though. Fuck, fuck Kevin off. Brennan. He's saying fuck off. Love you, gents. Well, except Adam. Kidding. Fuck off. No, he keeps flip flopping. Oh, okay. I love you, gents. Well, except Adam. Kidding. Fuck off. He was gonna keep going. I think. Yeah, he's back and forth. He ran out of letters. <laughs> he's gonna. He's kidding. Not kidding. Kidding. Not kidding. All right, we're done, everybody. Uh, uh, we had a lot of. It was a cavalcade of stars today. We had Mario Bosco, uh, then the Danny Bonaducci, and then uh, Chad Zumach, the guy who steals from veterans, uh, war heroes. And yep. uh, Chad, what, what do you have to say for yourself about well, why do you steal from war heroes and do your plugs too? Well, you know, it's time to stick stick it back to them. You know, they they've been milking the government for so long. Anyways, now I uh, I have a Patreon. If you guys want to sign up to it, and if anything, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. That'd be great. And I and I got a couple of Venmos throughout the show, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much on behalf of me. Thank you, nice. We got a couple more super chats. Chad, did Nick Swartzen ever try and get it get in your bed? No, but happy birthday, Nick. His, his uh, birthday was on Sunday. He didn't try anything in the beautiful uh, Key West. No, he didn't. No, I... He didn't. He didn't jump in a bed and with you in his underpants. Were you guys sharing a, a hotel room? No. <laughs> no. Imagine if Nick demands that of all his opening acts, right. they all have to sleep with him. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's see where it goes. That's it's a fun hang. You pay, no, he is. You pay. He, he pays you well. You got. He's a fun mm-hmm. hang, but you just got to share a room with him. Look, Picks up every tab. Uh, Chad, that's ever trying to get in your bed. Uh, we're getting more super chats. It's Peter crazy. Brennan, Swartzen didn't, but McCarthy did. Walter and Pinkman back together. Yeah, yes. it is scary. You it never is. figured out how to think, did you, Pinkman? <laughs> Jesse, <laughs> Jesse. Even I mean, I what found... the hell is wrong with you? I'm, I'm really asking. Oh shit! It, this does feel like dealing drugs, though. Walter and Pinkman back together. Mason and Portland. I, I, you know, Chad. I, you know, Ray's gonna go out to Portland. He's gonna. I mean, Mason and Portland are gonna oh, hang yeah. out. Oh yeah, that's a given. That's a given. Yeah. Uh, he's... Oh, he's back. He's coming. He's yeah. coming back. He lo- in fact, loves that love Adam. Yeah, we have a tumultuous thing. Thank going you, on. nice, nice, and I. Uh, KB, don't forget, don't give Chad any of our money, not a dollar. 
Not a fucking dollar. Yeah, Chad, speaking of that, before, uh, so it doesn't get awkward after the show, how much you need for today's show? Because I don't like this. I don't want I don't want these emails in the middle of the night. Uh, did you forget my Venmo? So just just tell me. Or you want to talk to Shuli first? What? Yeah, let me talk to Shuli to negotiate. No, whatever you pay Ray. I think that's fair. That's the kind of the rule of thumb now, right? It's whatever whatever Ray gets. Yeah. <clears throat> what if yeah. Ray doesn't get paid? What is though? what is uh, Shuli give you? You said he paid you well. What does he give you? I'm not gonna say it on the show. I don't. Where are you gonna say? Where are you gonna say it on your Patreon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I put I announce everything on my Patreon. <laughs> we gotta sign up to your Patreon ago. to get any information. Mm-hmm. Gotta go scroll way back. Nick did, okay. Nick did tell me a funny story because uh, he's friends with David Cross. Yeah, they're all this, friends. All those LA guys are. And he he texted him when he was in New York. He's like, "Hey man, I'm in New York. Want to hang?" He's like, "Ah, I'm I'm hanging out with some friends." And Nick texts back. He goes, "Who? Alvin, Simon, and Theodore?" Because he was in the Chipmunks movie. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's good. Gonna, that's good, gonna, clean fun. Yeah, it's good, clean fun. You know. Oh, I David, like he's he, David. He has David Cross. If that's who he's hanging out with. Yeah, because you know uh, you're doing. You know you're doing bad when. Listen, it'd be like, no, he makes a lot of money. When you're David Cross and you're doing a Chipmunks movie, that's not a good look for something like David Cross. But it's probably a good sized paycheck, and and that's how it, that's how it go in show business. You still got to pay the rent, even if uh, you're not as because. Uh, he kind of, you know, uh, him and uh, uh, who was his partner on that show? Who was in Better Call Bob Saul? Bob Odenkirk. Yeah, Bob Odenkirk is obviously doing better than him. But, you know, Bob, Bob Odenkirk got lucky with that fucking. He didn't get lucky, but he, he's he's doing better now than Dave Cross. So Dave Cross still got to work. He can't really do comedy at his age. Plus, he's in he like a, 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 a left wing progressive. I know his fucking wife is, isn't she? Oh, David Cross. Yeah, very. I mean, he's real left wing and his liberal. wife's super left wing, right? Yeah. So after a while, it's just like you're part of that Hollywood left wing and you go to all the parties, but and then you end up doing movies with chipmunks. Send them the link. I tell you what, I just, I just saw a Bob Odenkirk movie that just came out. It's on Amazon Prime called Nobody. It was great. It was like an action Wait, film. was that the, oh, that was the action one that you did? Yeah, I just kind of watched yeah. it and it was good. It was like, a, I enjoyed it. And it was like a dark comedy. It was really good. Hmm. Uh, Chad, are you doing have a seat on the Shuli Network next week? I think so. Friday. Next Friday. Right. Friday. Next gig. Friday. How about this weekend? I have gigs all weekend. No, but I think I thought they do it on Saturday up against me because they're trying to take me down. Yeah, I'll be doing stand up. To try to take me down? <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm doing stand up. I'm hoping I can take you down from some obscure city in florida I'm dedicated to <laughs> taking this motherfucker it was like it was like uh when ray ray said when he was at the um oh. ray said he was at uh pete's funeral in in uh, a An- A- anchorage at akron yeah and uh and then ray said he read a text that you sent him and then he said the, the whole crowd started laughing i said i said he's he was on he was on stage at the funny house or whatever Anyway, I said, I said, what do you mean? They, he goes, no, they all started laughing and clapping. I said, did they know it was Chad's uh, text? He goes, no, I didn't say who it was. I just, I'm like, Ray, you're just making this up, right? He goes, no, they, no. I said, no, because he made it seem like he, he's like, this is from Chad Zumach. He read it, the text about how nobody was there and, and blah, blah, blah. And everyone it was like laughing at you. In fact, he didn't say your name. And it was just, it was funny. Yeah, he no, it's one of those things of like, Ray, Ray, you're not even making sense now. Wait, you just you just read an, a text to a crowd. They didn't know who it was, and you just read it randomly with no with no context, and they all laughing and clapping. He's like, well, uh, uh, what? <laughs> then it gets that confusion, like, what? What do you what what Kevin? Anyway, uh, yeah, there. This is this is how Jesus. They keep coming in. We can't. It's like New Year's Eve. It won't stop. What are we gonna do? Right. What, I can't. I can't even. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go lay down and have a pizza. Can't keep up. Uh, nice. It's back to fuck Adam. Fuck Adam. Laugh my motherfucking hey, ass off. It's a very off. lucrative beef. I agree. Going on. I agree. Thank you. Nice. Uh, S box. This is the last one. Six fifty seven. Two minutes ago. So I. Somebody else has to read it. I can't read the Starbucks ambassador. Chad, Joey C, Carl, Stut Joe, all live, full, or part time in Florida. 
are all the mental midgets attracted to that state? F. Shuley, F. Bob, F. Chad forever. That's wow. fair. <laughs> Chad forever, baby. That's fair. Chad, <laughs> Joey C. He's right. Like that's how we interpret it. It's just Chad forever. I heard a rumor. Wait, let me read. Chad, he's right. Chad, Joey C., Carl, Stuttering Joe, Stuttering John, uh, uh, Stuttering Joe, Stut Joe, too. All live full or part time in yeah. Florida. All mental uh, midgets attracted to the state. Fuck Shuley, Bob, and Chad forever. Yeah, Chad took that as, hey, Chad forever. Fuck Shuley and Bob. Chad forever. Go so ahead, Chad. They're doing a huge boxing match over in St. Pete uh, early November with Alex Stein and Louis J. Gomez. And then I heard they're doing WATP live in Tampa in February. And then I heard a bigger rumor. They're going to have Skank Fest here next year. So Tampa's where it's at, baby. Woo! We're doing it. So I thought you hated Carl. Why do you care if he's doing a WATP thing there? I, I mean, I'm not going to be. I'm, I'm going to go to it. just to make he's, everyone... he's just saying Tampa's the place to be. It's not a mystery that Tampa's a nice town because it's fucking warm there. And they got Wawa's. Mm-hmm. So, and why was it sell beer? So, yes, it is a nice town. Uh, uh, all right, we're done. Uh, another great show by me. Uh, at, at four o'clock, we had no guests. Then we end up doing three guests and do a three hour show. Uh, thanks to everybody but Chad. Uh, so I got to pay you the Ray rate. Got to go Ray rate with me. All right. So, and then if you think, uh, you think I'm underpaying you, ask you, you want, are you going to ask Ray what I pay you? You're going to text Ray? No, I don't. I have Ray blocked on everything. I got another super chat from the Late from entry my, from my OG. Uh, uh, Greg Lambert, I just saw Bob Odenkirk movie called Stolen Valor, where he puts on 100 pounds of Piazza, a pizza lord, and then defrauds a war hero to a credit card that. Wow, I mean, it must have I just come out. I don't think. Uh, I think he might be. I think he might be misremembering. I think that might be starting. Anyway, Chad, uh, 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 we got to sign up for your Patreon to get the real story, right? Yeah, it's the only way. That's the only way. Stolen Valor. I got to go get my credit for Wednesday. My credit score. Is that, do we set a date? Is it Wednesday? That's when it's happening? I don't know. It's next week. Uh, I still got to talk okay. to the uh, therapist, but he was sure. busy this week. He said next week looks better. And uh, so I'll I'll ask him. Maybe watch the show today. So uh, hopefully he he, me. he really does his homework. Too. Yeah, maybe he's taking notes. It's crazy. No, no he, he does. does. He absolutely yeah. does take notes. He so. looks like he goes into like the fucking library and looks up like yeah, studies he, on. I hate know. to hate to agree with Iraq, but he does more and better prep than I do. Does he so. have a clipboard? He may practically. I mean, he's he's reading from notes, so <laughs> it's it's pretty amazing. I mean, with Ray, he he basically. Yeah, he was very prepared. Ski mask was a little trickier because of the stupid mask, and uh, he doesn't. Ski mask hasn't been on the show as much. Well, and he didn't. I think he didn't know as much about his history, but I think he knows more about Chad since we've talked about it. So it'll right. be good. Right. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the super chats, and uh, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace in uh, the Middle East. All right. Wow.